been waiting for a long, long time, but nothing comes to go, nothing comes, I know, I know you're out there, I will find you, I know I'll find, we'll be dancing on. All righty, all righty. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? I see people in here. Uh, hold on. Let me cut off this. What is this playing? What is this crap? Uh, okay. Yeah, let me just stop that. Uh, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. It is Sunday. Welcome to another live stream. As we lead up to House of the Dragon, let's see who we got in here. Persephone, per personified. Who's going to have the most differences from book to screen? Did they really mock the king for a day? Or do they have terrible, weird things the counts claim? Did fake Rhaenerys, you know? Did they take Rhaenerys, you know? Yeah, that's the cool thing about we don't know all these details. We'll see what's happening. Uh, hello, Ungliet. What's up, Tom? Bystander chicken to jail. What's up, man? Uh, Diane Harris, Hello. Uh, Tank Seal. Am I saying that right? Tans Tanzil? Tanzil? <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Um, House of the Dragon extended trailer uploaded uh, on Got Official Channel. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll look at that then. I, I did see something about an extension. We'll take a look then. We'll go, we'll go over it. Uh, Naomi. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, King Graves. Welcome. Uh, Stephanie. Sunday night smoke break, exactly. Uh, hopefully, we're getting back in the swing of things. We'll see what happens here. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some movement on the channel in the positive direction. It's not like hyped like it was for Got yet, but uh, it's definitely cool to see a, a little bit of growth again and some views on that last 
trailer breakdown. I thought it was really, really cool to see. I hadn't seen 20,000 views in, since 2019, so really cool. Um, as you can see here, by the way, I, I have this sub goal up here in the corner. I'm going to put these up every stream uh, because we're trying to get to 100K, and a lot of people watching recently are not subscribed. And uh, I ask you, please, if you enjoy these videos, live streams, all that good stuff, hit that little subscribe button. It's free. Support your favorite creators. It really makes a huge difference in signaling to YouTube that you enjoy the channel, uh, whatever channel that may be. Um, and so hopefully we'll see this thing move up. We're getting close to getting back to 77K again. We've hit it three times, <laughs> I think. Um, but then we had our downfall for a while, so... Uh, uh, I'm going to keep this up here. We, we're going to get this plaque one day, even if I have to quit YouTube after. If I get that silver plaque in my hand, I'll I'll quit. I don't care. Um, let's see. Anyway, Jake from State Farm, what's up, man? Elisa, how you doing? Lord Kev is in the house. Amber Muse, KC, Mark, uh, Marquita, hello, hello. Um, Diana, I'm not fashionably late. I started uh, the music at. 959. I think that was right on time. Hello, Meg Paul. Um, yeah, we'll go over the extended trailer. I'll pull that up then. I actually had the other one ready, but I forgot about the extended thing. We'll see what they throw in there. We'll actually go over it here in a, in a few minutes. Um, someone, hello, hello, welcome. Um, Cody Bell, uh, we'll check that out for sure. Uh, let's see. Ask the Cheese, what's up, man? There's Zoomer. Mazuma, 10K in the house. The new nurse main that I have yet to see. <laughs> What's up, Mazuma? Uh, let's see here. Um, Meg Paul, who'd you miss? Me, who? Oh, M Mazuma? You missed Mazuma? Oh, you missed Mazuma. I see. I see how it is. Uh, KC, Matthew Hernandez. What's up, man? Uh, Vert. What's up, Vert? Oh, yeah, made a live stream. So happy to see you again after Westeros show. Yeah, it's really cool, man, to see this, uh, you know, the, the the family coming back together, I hope. This is really cool to see. Speaking of old names, look at this. Volga 10 up in here. Good evening, Volga. How you doing? Uh, there's Musi in the house. Um, oh, shit, Musi. I'm sorry. We got Westworld tonight. It's over, right? I'll have to watch it in a little bit, but... Um, I for, or forgot we're in the Westworld seasons. Pretty good this year. We had a big twist last week. Um, let's see. Uh, Meg, if you're talking about here, we we are streaming back on Sundays again. We uh we just picked it up a couple of months ago, off and on for some shows. Uh, but we've been streaming uh every Sunday now as we lead up to House of the Dragon. Four weeks away. Four weeks away. Uh, Naomi, how you doing? Um. Uh, who I wonder who the pregnant woman is in the trailer. Pregnant woman? Did we miss a trailer? Did I miss it? Oh, oh, uh, the one where Damon standing in front of the fire. Uh, it was. Yeah, I'll have to. We'll have to look at that closer. I didn't even mention that actually. I because it was in the last couple shots. I was trying to get that damn edit done. Uh, what's up, Randall? How are you, Amber? How are you? Um, there's Steph Snow. Uh, just driving in to say hi and leave a like. We'll watch tomorrow. Okay, fine, Steph. Don't hang out with us at all. Just, <laughs> I free. Thank you, Steph, for leaving a like. I appreciate it. Doc Holiday is in the house. Uh, OG Doc Holiday here. What's up, man? I guess you're all uh, feeling better. That's been in like a week, I know. Um, Ocean Mist. Hello. How are you? Uh, Marquita, oh, cool. You get, so notifications are some somehow magically working again. It's so weird how it, I don't know. I don't know what's uh, what's YouTube's deal. Smile Factory, hello, hello, welcome. Uh, Final Kaisen, Kaisen. Uh, extended trailers out. Yeah, we're gonna pull it up and watch it here in a second. Uh, I, I've got to see what extra stuff they put in here, for sure. I have the other one pulled up, but we'll pull up that one on just on YouTube and just watch it, and we'll pause it. Uh, let's see. Tom saying the same thing. Tom McCauley just watched the extended trailer. Did that just now drop? Like, was it? Yeah, I thought it was yesterday. <laughs> okay, so now y'all got me excited to see this shit, man. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Jimmy, uh, what's up, Jimmy? Padge, how you doing? Uh, oh, your channel's going to pop off bigger ever than ever once the show is rolling. I, I hope so, man. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of channels doing this. Obviously, a lot of channels covered in it. A lot of bigger, huge channels that uh, that stream and stuff on Sundays and do breakdowns and all that stuff. So we'll see what happens. Um, we, I don't know. That's what I mean. This year, uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I would do the typical thing Sunday nights, obviously, right after the show. Um, there'll be a lot of other people doing that too, which is fine. I mean, it's YouTube. You, you can't claim a time slot, but um, anyway. Um, then we'll do our breakdowns and previews because I'm assuming they'll have the preview things. So uh, I'll probably put those out faster than uh, or pretty quick, and then do the the detailed breakdown and uh, compare it to the books. Um, extended trailer is awesome, says King Graves. Uh, we got to get to this extended trailer. Um, Uncle Ant, did you read the interview with the showrunners and the Hollywood Reporter? I did not read the full thing. If you're talking about the one with the headline last week, uh, I did not read the thing. I just, uh, if that, I did, so I haven't read any. I've just been watching Comic Con stuff all week or weekend. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I swear, there's a chick getting undressed in the extended trailer. Well, we saw that Naomi. We saw, uh, I think it was probably Renera in the other. One. We saw some shoulder. We saw some side shoulder, so we'll see. I, we'll pull it up here in a minute. Um, mm, who is uh, who is this? Nath, Nathalie Sanchez A. <laughs> what is the A after your name for, Nat? Uh, what's up, Nat? How are you? Well, well, well. I'm here now. Video games underground. Hello? Um... Are you are you going to bring back your co-host for Fire and Blood? Uh, I hope I hope James joins us. I don't think he will based off his uh, work schedule, but we'll see. We're still trying to see. Oh Lord, why are you what? Why are you uh, bombing my my show here? Does anybody know that I'm on? No, you don't know anybody here. Okay, thank you. I'm glad you got the the signed copy. My number one fan there. No, he ordered the hard copy, you idiot. That's what I signed. Okay. Um, let's see. It's Chris with something. How you doing? Did she? Oh, I thought she changed my light. Sorry. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, Amanda Kane, who is this? Look, we got some old school people coming up in here. What's up, Amanda Kane? How you doing? I'm trying to. Christian Oles. There's Christian. What's up, man? Ashia? Uh, Asia, I'm sorry, Asia, I believe. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. So, have you back? Can't wait for B O T D. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm glad everybody's popping in here. Um, yeah, I know Westworld, I keep forgetting about Jimmy, but it's really good this season again. I love episode, uh, as you know, season one, and then two and three were like, eh, okay, but f uh, f three is uh, or four, I should say, is, is really good. They're kind of going back, almost like Stranger Things, kind of to the beginning. Lots of season one parallels, so it's really good. Uh, Rod, damn it, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, almost to the bottom here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well, Rod. Um, Naomi, uh, uh oh, uh oh, Tanzil, we have a, we have a, we have a Damon hater here. Uh, that a hole Damon is not even letting his niece go. Uh oh, we got to pull up this trailer and see what's going on. Damon is going to be a fan favorite, though, man. I'm telling you, he's, uh, he is, uh, he can't be an asshole for sure. Uh, Diane, Q and A, Chris, do you think we will see more flashbacks in the series than the original series? Or do you think they will do this all chronologically from? Uh, no, I think we'll we'll see some some stuff. Uh, apparently. They did say that this will probably be three to four seasons for the dance, and they may actually jump back in time and continue it with a different cast to see Aegon's conquest and stuff like that. So I think we'll see some some flashbacks. But I do think the first half of this season will be young Renera. It'll be a previous timeline. Um, then we'll jump ahead, you know, 20, 25 years, whatever it is. So I think we'll see probably the first half of the season, young Renera, young Allison, all that, a younger looking Damon. Obviously, it's the same actor and all that stuff. Um, so pretty much chronological, but I think I don't I don't know they I know they didn't want to overuse flashbacks, but we'll see what happens. Um 
someone your live chat the best live chat. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad uh, glad you enjoy. Uh, I know it's uh, boring or more boring without my, my buddy James here to uh, to play off of, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I've been trying to tr- trying to get him here, man. I've, I've sent him trailers and teasers, and he likes the look of all that stuff, but it's just his, it's his schedule. Uh, all right, let me get down here. Lord Kev is talking about dragon farts. <laughs> what is the, um, you know, you read the books, Musi saying long before the Johnny Come Lately creators. No, hey, look, there's some old school creators been around for a long time. Let me let me say this really quickly too, man. Um, I was watching. Uh, if y- y'all know Kev from Bridge Four, Kevin. Um. You know, his channel blew up uh, last, you know, Game of Thrones, and he does other stuff too, Westworld. And he was talking about this day. I popped in his stream. I happened to see it, and I hung out there for a little bit. And he's going through the same thing. He's about ready to give up the YouTube thing. He's got two hundred and five or 10,000 subscribers. I think he dropped down fifteen or 20,000, you know, after Game of Thrones ended, and he's making very little money anymore. And he's going through the same thing. Like, it's kind of pointless. He's putting out videos, and they're not getting views. And I think his doing it a few more weeks to see what happens but um it's it's hard out here for this type of shit and you know we all we all you know we're not not it's not a woe me thing or anything i'm just saying a lot of people took a took chances you know doing this um creator thing or you know independent creator whatever you want to call it some people are writing books i mean it's hard so that's what i'm saying you know be sure to you know click the like button on your people you likes videos and their live streams and go subscribe to them you can subscribe to everybody and you know sh- spread the love man there's no there's no competition there's it, you you know it's not like uh, me versus some other creator so go subscribe to bridge for go subscribe to tony teflon go subscribe to gray area whoever you like everybody um there's no reason we can't all be successful in some way um, because we all have different takes on things and opinions, and uh, that's what's cool about it. So, um, uh, I'm glad to see some some uh, OG creators. You got Teflon, for example, uh, and he's been around a long time. And I and when I started this channel, I reached out to uh, like three people, and that was uh, Val and Bar. If y'all remember Bartube, and Bartube was my first collab, and Teflon was one of them as well because I thought he was just cool. Didn't know him at the time. Since then, got to know him, got to meet him in person. Um, and he he eventually responded, but I don't think he knew how to use, I believe at the time, the because you used to be able to contact each other, like DMs. And he eventually did respond. So um, you got OGs out here that, that's been struggling this for uh, longer than me even. Uh, but I've been doing this six, seven, uh, six years. It's crazy to think about. And it, it's hard out here, I'm telling you. Um, so support your creators if you can. I know it's uh, even if it's a couple of dollars on on Patreon or throwing them a couple of dollars at a super chat, whatever it is, man. Uh, and you because it keeps you keeps you motivated if you see a little bit of return. You know what I mean? Um, you know, as nice as it is to have a cool community and do these live streams and hang out and it's fun, it really is. But you got to be realistic about it too. Um, it is, Natalie. I see you. I see you. It's not number five. It's probably. It's probably number two. I've, I've had a Pepsi, though. I did eat and have a Pepsi. I'm sorry, Nat. I've, I've done bad this weekend. Uh, Leslie, shit, I was about to nope out for the night. Fuck balls, I can't. I love you. Oh, oh, Leslie, thank you. I'm glad you stopped by. Don't let me keep you from going to sleep now. I know people have to get up and go to work. Uh, hello, John Claybo. How are you? Um, does your girl watch these, these shows get her back to Coho? She doesn't. Vert, she won't watch him. I try to get her to. Look, my kid has not even read my book. My kid has not read my own damn book. So, um, if that tells you anything, I can't get her to read my book. She's mentioned in my book, you know, in the front and the back too. Uh, all right, let's see. Let me get down here. I'm sorry, I'm missing some stuff. Probably Lolo. There's Low Horton. We got all our um, our mods in here tonight. We're missing Carol Brown again. And D Brown, we miss Carol and D. We don't know what's happened. Carol was at um, Comic Con all weekend, so we got some coverage from Carol on Twitter. Uh, Ocean Miss James is doing good. He just moved. I think he finished moving yesterday, so he's got his own plate, a new place now, and uh, he's going to be able to live with his son. So that's cool. So he's got him a, a house now that he's 
He's got, I went and checked it out. I helped him hung, hang a, uh, a TV the other weekend. So I think he's moved this weekend, but I have not seen James in about two weeks because he's been moving a little bit after work or something, apparently, so, which I didn't even know at the time. Um, uh, Jan, there's Jan. What's up, Jan? Hello, Chris from Mooresville. Uh, here's a local here. Here's a, here's a local from Mooresville. Not far, not far. Thank you. Awesome trailer breakdown. Thank you. Um, I tried. I tried to rush that out too and still edit it decently as possible. Um, hello, Bender Snatch. How are you? Uh, let's see. Vol guy, I'm nervous. Just watched Matt Smith in the Forgiven, uh, terrible movie. Hope he's better in House of Direct. Matt Smith's pretty good, though. I, the more I've watched him in these trailers and teasers, the more he becomes Damon to me, uh, I think he's going to be outstanding. Um, and again, I, I could be wrong. I hope I'm not. I think he'll do. Uh, I think he'll do great. Uh, Alex, what six one six? What's up, Chris? It's Alex Montero. Hello, man. How you doing? It's been a minute. It has, man. I'm glad to see all these old names coming back. All right. Um. Uh, where am I at here? I'm sorry. I'm losing my spot. Betray King. What's up, Betray King? How you doing? What about Ozzy Man? I know Ozzy Man. Me and Ozzy Man are friends, and we were supposed to do something together before season eight aired, but uh, we never were able to. He did come on our podcast, though, before. That was cool. But I haven't talked to Ozzy Man in a long time. I've reached out several times through the years, and uh, he had a kid and all that good stuff, so... Ozzy Man's still out there doing his thing, battling YouTube over copyright stuff I saw the other day. Uh, Naomi, yeah, Talking Thrones, Dan. Uh, yeah, Dan, I know me and Dan collabed years ago, then he blew up and uh, haven't haven't heard from him. Um, he was actually he had a friend really close to where I live, and he was in town, and I invited him to come over, and he, he didn't. That was a couple years ago. Um, but, uh, yeah, whoever, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. What I, I'm just saying, there's no reason for uh, – you know, you some people don't like some people, whatever for whatever reason. That's fine, but uh, just saying, you know, we we start these. I, I do these streams. These streams probably overall hurt the channel because they start getting, you know, pushed out uh, because they get a lot of views while it's live, but then they push them out. And I should make them all private. I may end up doing that again. I'm not sure. Let me move this a little bit. Sorry. Um, I could make them private, actually, and make them for channel members only once they're done. But uh, I, you know, I just got to the point where, I, if it grows, it grows. If it don't, it don't. And if if it don't, I'm, I'm going to give it one last hoorah, one last shot here. We'll see what this show does. We'll see if we can get some capture, recapture some of the magic. So we'll see what happens. But I, the reason I mentioned that earlier because uh, Kev was talking about it on Bridge Four in his stream, and I'm exactly in the same boat. He's we're losing so much money every month trying to continue this, and it's getting kind of stupid. Um, Lord Kev, Q&A, will there be a Crimson Gods Osgoth historian named Farticus appearing anytime, and we based on some weird Ohio guy? Maybe. There, we could, but we have a lot of stuff to get in the Crimson Gods too, whatever that's going to be called. We got space unicorns, and now we have requests for a uh, historian um, named Farticus. So we'll see what we can get in there, man. Um, James, what's up, James Farrell? I hope House of the Dragon and Potential Snow Show help you guys blow up again. I used to watch the stream with you and James every Sunday during original God series. Cool, man. Yeah, I hope so. We'll see what happens, man. I I don't see, like, uh, I'm surprised that some of the, a few of these videos are doing really good and others don't seem to. Um, and it's just a matter of timing, I guess. But I, I think once it starts, we'll see a little boom. I don't know if we'll ever get back to where we were because there's so many other channels now and people are kind of spread out and all that stuff. But uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, there'll be, a, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people live streaming Sunday nights uh, in four weeks. Um, I don't know. I've also thought maybe, maybe I could reach out to somebody and do a co-stream. I don't know. I've thought about that too. But I don't know exactly the James situation. Uh, Jedi Shogun, what's up, man? Glad you're streaming more again. Got your book and read it uh, and uh, to read at Ocean Isle next week while I'm making it. Very cool, man. I uh, hope you enjoy it, Jedi. I appreciate it and I appreciate all you guys. I've been I've been seeing um, 
I've kind of kept tabs on it. We made it to number two. We could have made it to number one, and I didn't see it like overnight or something since it's updated every hour. But I see on Amazon now there are 93 ratings. Uh, so I know some of you guys have went out and left some Amazon reviews. I really appreciate it. The more, the merrier. Um, really appreciate you guys who have done that. So it's went up from like 88 to 93 and just a, since last week. So we're getting a few more in there. I appreciate you guys who are leaving reviews on Amazon. By the way, you can do that even if you don't buy it on Amazon, as long as you actually use Amazon. Um, Jake from State Farm, I had to return the soft cover version because Amazon idiot shipped it in a giant box with a bottle of mouthwash, <laughs> which bounced around and leaked all. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, man. Oh, shit. That sucks, dude. That's uh, uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully, did you get used to mouthwash at least? <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. Uh, first time I heard that one, uh, there's Randy Sweet Matsu somewhere I saw. Oh, there it is. This channel and Great Air were my go-to channels for God, and there's, uh, and others I'd hit from time to time. Uh, cool, man. I appreciate it, Randy. Long-time subscriber here, Mr. Randy Sweet Matsu and Matorator. Um, Leslie, I will live stream with you. Okay, hey, maybe. Hey, maybe we'll just take guests. Maybe we'll take phone calls. I don't know. You know how I am though. I can't. I, that would be unfair to chat though. I, I, I try to get every single chat question and all that stuff. Uh, also, I post this on Patreon. I think I saw a post come in. Let me check Patreon real quick. Then we'll go over this uh, this extended trailer. I'll pull it up. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, by the way, thank you, Matt Smith. I don't know if you're in the chat, Matt, uh, and Hoonjob as well. Uh, last week, you both joined Patreon. Really appreciate that. So we're trying to build that back up as well. And um, uh, uh, so thanks again to Matt Smith and Hoonjav. Let me go over here. I think I saw Doc Holliday, I believe. Let me move this over here. Uh, this light's off in my face. Um, Doc on Patreon, any chance we see more crayon drawings in the caves under Dragonstone? I think there is, man. I think that would be really cool, dude. Um, I think we see, uh, if we see enough of them going into the caverns now, Granted, they wouldn't go as often because there are dragons nesting in there, and some are not tame yet, and whatever. You have you know, a couple in there that will be tamed later on. Um, you know, Sheep Stealer, for example. We don't know where they're at all the time, so they probably don't venture in too much, but we do see Damon going there, and there's got to be some Targaryen at some point So who have they've been in all these caves or whatever. So I think it would be really cool and a cool, cool connection to see um, Dragonstone, as we saw in Game of Thrones, where the children of the forest, like that same actual actual cave where all the dragon glass is and stuff would be great if they had that in there because it should be exactly the same. It shouldn't be changed, you know, So it's, it's so ancient as far as the drawing. So I think that would be cool, and it would kind of connect it to the, to the main show. Um, let's see... I uh, always went to Diane, always went to Smoke Screen. Uh, I think um, about, I think, because Geek is what you're saying. Gray area and Talking Thrones. I know those people. Uh, Unglant. Hey, hey, thank uh, Cool. Unglant, you're already, you're already here, but you just got notification. Cool, man. So that's only been 30 minutes. We'll see what happens. Uh, is it three more, Natalie? Did I say, did I say four? I don't know what I said. Maybe I said four. I don't know. Is it three weeks? The 21st. It's four weeks. I said four, didn't I? Four weeks. I said four. I know I said four. I got the, I got the receipts. Uh, Dazzle Spark uh, just received my copy of The Crimson Gods on Thursday, and it was a beautiful cover. It's also not very thick, so it shouldn't take long to read. Looking forward to reading it. Awesome. I'm glad you uh, enjoy Yeah, it looks outstanding. I hope you really love the story. But it does look outstanding. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's, it's ninety thousand words. It's not a terribly giant book. And um, I know a big Kev here who was doing some beta reading and stuff for me, uh, and a couple others. He read it pretty damn quick. He was giving me feedback like almost real time. Uh, so that was cool. But yeah, it's not. It's not a terribly long read for sure. Um, Diane, do you think we'll see cases of grayscale and see someone going from getting infected like Jordan Lott, but all, uh, but goes all way cra all the way crazy? Uh, I don't.
think so, Dan. I mean, they could throw something in there like that, but to my knowledge, I don't remember anything about it in Fire and Blood. So not that they can't do some of that kind of stuff, but yeah, I don't I don't know that, that we will see that. Uh, John Snow Rules is here. I am here. Hope all is well. Welcome, John Snow Rules. Appreciate it, man. Is it three weeks? Did I say three? I'm not Naomi. I'm not sure what's. Uh, I thought it was the 24th today, and the 21st seems to me that's four weeks away. I don't know. I just uh, that's the, the math in my head is telling me that it's like four Sundays from now. <laughs> three weeks to go. All right. Um, John Snow Rules, new to the channel. Welcome to the channel, John Snow Rules. We're glad to have you. Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. We're about to go over this trailer. Let me pull this thing up before I keep. I'm just. I'm just rattling now. Uh, I will have to pull it up on YouTube because I had this other trailer already pulled up. I'm going to like go through and, and and see if we caught anything. So let me see. Here we go. 35 minutes ago. So this was new. All right. So hold on. Let me move this over here so give me a second because i always have to rearrange my screen and i'll put this on full and i gotta move my chat so i apologize so while we go through this i'll be looking over here let me do that full screen and then i'll put the chat over here and this over here what's up yvette reese how are you i see you there <clears throat> do not apologize you're not late you can come in these things anytime anytime uh, uh, that's right, Doc. That's 90,000 more than Germ has written. Exactly. Exactly, man. We're never going to see these damn books. Um, Jon Snow rules. Q&A, could the Doom of Valyria be referenced? I think, uh, yeah, 100%, absolutely. I think uh, that's always uh, in their history. I think is a really good chance we'll definitely get a few references, at least, if not flashbacks to a couple things. I don't know if we'll see it because, obviously, this generation of Targaryens, we're at this point, we're like what eight, nine, ten generations in from the Doom. So I don't think they would, you know, obviously we're not gonna, we're, we're they're not gonna know in their own minds what that looked like. You got to remember, you had like five generations of Targaryens on Dragonstone before Aegon the Conqueror, um, when Daenerys the Dreamer and Aenys Targaryen were there, they were over in Old Valyria. She had the dream of it all blowing up, and then their family moved with five dragons, including Beleriand. Um, so you had a lot of Targaryens just here chilling on Dragonstone before Aegon was ever born. Um, and so there's a good chance we'll we'll get a little bit of uh, backstory and history. But again, like I said, they said this may end up being a show where it jumps around different times for sure. So that'll be cool. Because the dance will take about three seasons, three to four, and I think it'll be over. So either we go forward in time to Aegon the Third, on up to Aegon the Fifth, uh, Duncan Egg era, or we go backwards to Aegon the Conqueror. Um, Bandersnatch House of Dragon comes out twenty first of August, exact month after my birthday. Um, very cool, and day before my birthday's brother, so a uh, brother's birthday. I'm so happy to remember. Uh, oh shit, chicken the jail. Thank you, chicken the jail. Thank you for the uh, super chat, man. Appreciate it. Uh, with the five saying Q and A, will we finally see old, a nude old Nan? <sighs> she might be alive during this time, man. We might see a hot old Nan. I don't know if she's old Nan. No, she, no, she's not alive, man. But yeah, I mean, one can hope, right? We can dream. <laughs> Great Bush for the win, says Mazuma. Jesus. Why not? Here comes a hashtag. Um, all right, so let's check out this trailer. Let me jump over here and put myself over here on the side. Let's do this. I think this is right. I got to see what they've added here. Because I had the other trailer pulled up like on locally where I downloaded it. So let's go over this, and then we'll get back into any questions and discussions and all that good stuff. All right, so... I'll have to pause it and talk a little bit. Obviously, I can't play this whole thing and just let it go. Um, uh, really quick, though. Um, <clears throat> Alex, I did see the Black Panther trailer. It looks outstanding. I'm wondering if that's Shuri or not. I'm not sure who the Black Panther is, so we'll see what's happening. Because Shuri does become Black Panther eventually, but not this soon, so I don't know what they're going to do. I, my preference is to go ahead and make her Shuri. I don't know if I could... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I can deal with, well, not deal with, but that's bad wording, but just another guy that's like a long lost brother or something they make up just to kind of replace him for a while. I, I would assume they go straight to Shuri. 
Excuse me. Uncle Ant, do you think we'll see a, be a prophecy-obsessed character in who? Uh, they may start... That I've heard... I didn't watch... Uh, Dragon Demands did a video about them adding some more magical stuff to it. Um, there's not really any uh, prophetic characters in Fire and Blood. From my understanding, though, they're going to make Viserys prophetic in some way where he has these dreams. We heard that in the trailer. We'll see that in a second. So we'll talk about that in a second. I think Viserys the first may be more interesting, a, a lot more interesting than book Viserys. So I would say Viserys if that's the case, the first. Um, Watch of Wall Street. Thank you for the super chat as well. Appreciate it, man. With the five, do you think Princess Rainies will play both sides after her son's death? Um, I don't want to go into these spoilers here, but I don't think Rainey's will play both sides. Um, she is team black and I think she remains team black and I don't want to go into any deep. Obviously there's a minor spoilers. We're talking about book stuff, but I don't want to go into any detailed stuff. We'll let people see these things happen. I don't think she, uh, I think plays both sides. I will say this watch of wall street. It's interesting than the trailer what we saw her talking to um, Alicent because that is not in the books. So her having that little conversation where he says, do you not ever see yourself sitting there on throne? I think that's going to be a really cool uh, thing to see their relationship because that's not talked about in Fire and Blood. So there's going to be some details here that we just don't know. This going to be new to everybody. All right. Uh, I know y'all are still asking things. Let's, let me grab these, then we'll jump on this uh, trailer real quick, and we'll see. Um... Tom Bystander, what's up, man? How you doing? Impressive of Jonathan Majors as a whole new. He's one of the best new actors in the game right now. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, I think he's he's cool. Uh, we're going to see him uh, play a major, major role. Uh, Brian, what's up, man? How you doing? Chris, never get notifications from your YouTube or your, your material. I'm subbed and I have the bell on, just nothing. Brian, I don't know what's going on, man. It's broken. Maybe try to uh, unring the bell, unsub, and then resub and do it again. That might reset it. Um, I've had people do that before and they said it worked in some cases, some they don't, I, it's just broken. They're still going to show you what they want to show you. But again, if you watch a couple of videos on this channel, uh, that you hadn't seen because there's a whole house of the dragon playlist, you'll start getting those. I, I bet you, um, if you don't watch for a long time, they think you don't care anymore, even if you're still subscribed. So they will not ring that bill. They will not send you a notification. So yes, uh, in your if you have spare time, watch a few of the videos on the channel, uh, and then that will kind of get you back as an active. I'm I'm doing air quotes again, an active subscriber. Um, yeah, I think by Sarah's for sure. Mushroom Divine's asking, do I think we'll see Mushroom? I do think we'll see Mushroom. I just don't think it's going to be like a major character. I think we'll like see him in the background or something because he was there. But they're going to combine all the the three uh, tales of what happened to what actually happened. So that's going to be the cool part of the show. Um, Fiaz, can I watch it with my parents? Because I couldn't do that with God. I don't know. I think there's going to be some, you know, there's not going to be as much, but there's going to be some scenes. So, uh, you know. All right, here we go. Let's watch this extended cut, then we'll get back to questions. So hold your questions. Let's watch this for a second. Uh, am I on the right one? Okay, here we go. Extended trailer. Let's see what they added here. So I'll have to stop this, obviously. Yes, Leslie. Oh, oh, we got actually right off the bat. Like, subscribe, dudes. Do it. Thank you. I have not. Let me test it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, Leslie just reminded me. I'm always. I forget to test these things. Uh, test widgets. Subscribe. Let's see if this works. Okay, it does work. Okay, I just hadn't seen any. Okay, just want to make sure that's me testing it. Because we're trying to get the, uh, as we saw on the other screen, we'll go back to it in a minute. I'm trying to, uh, we're trying to get to that 100K. All right, here we go. Let me start this over. This time we have, uh, looks like Rhaenyra walking in. Somebody opened the door. All right, here we go. I have to stop this, obviously. Uh, Harold Westerling opened the door. Ooh, ooh, I like the, I like the piano. I like the piano. So Damon's sitting on the throne, and I apologize. You know, I got to pause this and talk. This is what I mean right here by Sarah. So you were asking about uh, magic in this show. This is, I believe, we're going to get a Viserys who at least has some kind of um, foresight. You know, these dreams may be a little bit prophetic. 
I think they'll add a little bit of stuff in here. And if they do, I do think it'll be Eva Sarris. Um, this line is what I'm talking about. This kind of this thing he talks about. Here we go. What's up, Luke? How you doing, man? All right, here we go. Thundering Who's. So here we go again. Oh, oh here's another shot. So we, I, I said in the trailer breakdown, I thought this would be uh, Renera and probably uh, Kristen Cole. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, it was Renera. And that is, that is Kristen Cole. So I was right. I thought I saw a white cloak. So this is going to be when Renera, and after he wins the tourney, or not, he doesn't win the whole tourney. He beats Damon. And the question is, does she like Kristen Cole, which I think is probably him, or does she like her Uncle Damon, or both? There's going to be some of that stuff. We don't know what happens. Um, so this is after uh, he beats Damon or whatever, and she is he gives her the thing for the tournament to get her favor, and then she will ask Viserys to make him his, her personal guard. So I'm, I'm going into some minor spoilers here. Nothing that's going to ruin anything. So I was right at least about that. Looks like that's young Renera and uh, Kristen Cole. There's the tournament we're talking about. Ringing swords. All right, this is the scene I broke down saying this is what I think is, this is why I think that Kristen Cole possibly breaks his vows here. Um, I think the other one was uh, Betray King. I think the first one was Westerling. I think this is, it, it could be. But if uh, Kristen Cole is her personal, I think they all have the same general helmet um, as far as the King's Guard. I didn't notice any difference. Could be wrong. Uh, what's up, Ian Gossett? How you doing? Coming around to the notion spring and winds drop together. Uh, no, I, we're never going to get spring, man. We're not, I don't think we're going to get it, uh, at least from him. He may have somebody finish it uh, at some point. But, yeah, this, is what, this scene right here made me think that, okay, we're going to get some juicy stuff because this is not Damon at this time. She... She may like, you know, she, it's rumored she liked her Uncle Damon at this time too, but also Sir Kristen Cole, but we don't know which way that went. Was it her pursuing him or vice versa? This, this looks to be a long time. His armor's off. He's in his breeches, breeches over here, so this is not uh, Dark Sister. So this is going to be, I think, probably uh, we'll see some uh, love. Uh, we'll see what happens. Because he's pulling out his sword, you know what I'm saying? He's pulling out his sword. So this is Viserys getting cut. I love this shot, this little detail about the blood on the Iron Throne. Uh, he gets cut on it. So he's cut his hand here. We talked about this in the trailer breakdown. What's up, Tina? How are you? Um, really symbolic of everything this throne does. It literally had killed Magor the Cruel, apparently. And then uh, King Scab was uh, was Danny's father. They called him King Scab. Um so we'll we'll uh we'll see this uh you know come to fruition for sure. Uh Ares the second was called King Scab because he always had cuts from the Iron Throne. Uh so this was a cool little touch. Really cool. This is the little things right here though that make HBO so good at this stuff, or at least in this case, Miguel and, and Ryan. Uh what's up, TQ? How are you doing? All right. There's an awesome shot. This should be Renera and Cyrax going to the Dragon Pit. We talked about that in the trailer. Um, there is that other tournament we'll see again in a minute that I missed the Dragon Pit behind it, but it, the point was that it was you know the the Maiden Pool version. So we'll see if it's in King's Landing. It looks like. Um, Stuart, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. If you're in the chat, could be watching another video. So yeah, this is going to be epic to see Cyrax and and remember. This is going to be different because you, you, these Targaryens, all these, at least the dragon riders and Valarians, they just rode dragons around like horses. So if they need to go somewhere, they just hopped on their damn dragon. It's going to be cool to see them just flying around on their dragons, even when they're not in combat. And the problem is, is at this point, they started putting them in this damn dragon pit. Of course, that kind of starts the downfall of dragons themselves. So Rhaenyra on Cyrex. I love the shots of the city. Obviously, we talked about that in the trailer breakdown. So I'm gonna stop on all these. Uh, we'll try to try to get through that. Uh, if Jerem doesn't have someone write Dream of Spring, he's constantly left to D and D to give the only narrative. At that point, I'd hate it. I agree. He he will not have a legacy 
without finished books, and uh, regardless of any TV shows, this I, I don't understand it. But I don't want to. I don't want to get on a germ rant. This is what I had a question about. This is not anywhere in Fire and Blood. Um, I've had a lot of comments, and I thought the same thing. I actually cut this out when I was editing that video. It got way too long. But I thought this would be like a voting system or maybe even an attendance system like, you know, present. Because he, everybody has one of these little, let me go back to that shot. It just looks like a, a, a glass eye. It's obviously a rock, not a glass eye, but it looks like it. There is something called a, a dragon stone in real life, that, but they're not perfectly round. Um, so I thought, what is this thing? It's like, you know, he puts this ball in the slot before he's, while he's talking. I think this just means he's in attendance and maybe a voting system because they all have them here. And I'm thinking here is the maester as well. So maybe everybody leaves and this is how the maester keeps attendance. But you also have, I think it's a voting thing because of this. Um, and I didn't mention this before. There's one in the center of the table. My belief is that you have an odd number on the council. This is Cordis of Lariana, obviously, Otto Hightower, <clears throat> etc. And then Viserys himself, and then Rhaenyra's over here serving. I believe if they vote on something, they all put the ball in the center, and then they're counted there to make it official, like a visual representation of their vote, so there's no mistaking is what I believe this is. I didn't mention that in the breakdown other than, you know, what the hell is it? And then a lot of people in the comments agreed that it was probably some voting system or something. But now after looking at this and seeing the centerpiece again, thing, okay, I bet you if they hold a vote for like a new law or for whatever it may be, they'll whoever votes yes will put their ball in the center. I don't know why, but maybe it's just an official thing for the maester to record and then, because it's not like you can take a fucking picture of it, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Mike Williams, nobody does it better than HBO. They just know how to make next level TV. They really do, man. I mean, the Game of Thrones changed the whole game, man. <clears throat> um, Betray King, Beesberry, Strong, Mellows, Red Wine, Otto, Corliss, Viserys. Uh, I, I, may, I must have missed what you were... Uh, um, uh, John Snow rules the West Sea happening as we'll, we'll like Kristen, but then as God goes, uh, does God does so, we'll hate him by the time we get to episode six or seven or earlier. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be season one, but I, I will tend to agree again without getting into spoilers. Um, it'll be almost a uh, reverse Jamie Lannister arc, I believe. Uh, and again, some people, there's some strange people out here that are Team Green. Yeah, hey, look, that's just the way it is. There are, but, <laughs> but, but I, I agree, I agree, and I won't go into any, um, uh, any details, uh, for spoilers' sake. What's up, Sir Pancake? Glad to catch you again. Welcome back, Sir Pancake. Glad to have you, man. Uh, looks like Littlefinger's brothel before it was a brothel. Says Brian. Yeah, this is in the Red Keep though, but it does. They, I mean, there's similar architecture everywhere, so the windows and stuff. But yeah, I think that's a voting system. The more I think about it, the, I think this centerpiece kind of gives the answer i think they will take that ball or whatever and put it here as a vote just like a symbolic thing a visual thing because they can just say i agree but maybe this gives i don't know i mean it's really odd um, this is something that's not i don't recall this from anything anywhere so all right uh this is auto hot obviously we're talking about him and the thing he is, just keeps bringing this shit up over and over and over and at one point by sarah's gets tired of it and says Fuck off. Uh, go back to Old Town and fires him um, because he keeps bringing up his succession. And uh, the problem with Otto Hightower and the Hightowers in general is that that he's his whole thing is he hates Damon and he doesn't want Damon anywhere near the throne. That's his whole thing. And he actually suggests Rhaenyra because it's not Damon. But then later on, when uh, his daughter marries the king and has kids of her own, then all of a sudden he changes his tune. So... Uh, yes, yeah, Stuart. Make ours hold fast. Exactly. Uh, what's up, Stuart? How you doing? All right. Oh, so wait a minute. Who, who's he talking to? I didn't see. Let me catch that again. I'll try to. So this is uh, Renera. Looks like Renera and Young and Allison. I think here. Let me go back a little bit. Who is she talking? 
I, I can't see who he's talking to. Uh, Jonathan Book, thank you for subscribing. Jonathan, appreciate it, man. If you're in the chat, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Let's see. I believe that's her. Let me let me back. I'm sorry. Let me back it up a little more. Is the Reddit play? Okay. Yeah. So this is Viserys looking up at Balerion skull. You got a King's Guard back here. This looks to be Renera walking to him. So this looks to be the same conversation. So yeah, I think that's Renera. Yeah, I think I believe so. And this is going to be cool. You got young Renera, young Allison here. They're BFFs at this time. And uh, she's blowing this uh, flame out here. Probably pretty symbolic. Because that's going to change. Here's the tourney we talked about. So this will be the at least the equivalent of main pool, I believe, where Damon loses to Sir Kristen Cole. I mean, this could be a different one. They could still have Maiden Pool separately and all that. Um, but at least the way the trailer's cut, it makes you think. But I don't see the house. So this is not Horn Hill, obviously. So there may be another tournament at least. This may be Viserys' fifth thing, uh, fifth anniversary uh, tournament or whatever. Um, I don't know how they'll do that and move things around. But we did see Horn Hill, at least in the teaser. But I don't see that here, obviously, in King's Landing because this should be the Dragon Pit back here. This is what I just missed in the, in the trailer. I was just so focused on this, and I, I, I thought – I did think, okay, it looks like King's Landing. But I was saying this is a, the equivalent of Main Pool, I believe, uh, is all I was saying. <clears throat> um, X Panamito, uh, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Looks like we're getting some, some subs in here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Armani, welcome, welcome. How you doing, man? Um, uh, Paulo, Paulo Roberto, yes, I want to see Vagar that huge. We're going to see Vagar. We'll get to that in a second. I'm sure we'll see. Uh, I didn't mention at the end of the breakdown of the video, but I think we'll see uh, his feet. I believe that's going to be Vagar because they're they're huge. And then I believe that was Vagar at the end. It, it kind of well, he had green eyes, um, so it shouldn't be Cyrax. But I believe Vagar is going to be the big. Obviously, he's like the 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 Balerion or the Drogon of Game of Thrones. So I think that makes sense for the trailer to show him last. All right, let's uh, keep going here. I love this armor. This armor is badass. Damon is going to be, I'm telling you, a fan favorite. I love this armor. Uh, it, you know, it brings back memories of the Rhaegar stuff. Obviously, Rhaegar will be much later, but this is, you can see the the uh, the rubies in this armor, and it's just such, the detail is so fucking fantastic. Rhaenyra. Young Rhaenyra, gorgeous, sitting there. This is, you know, the way they cut this, I'm assuming it's the same tournament, but they could have it separate. Because this is obviously not, you know, where they, where she's wearing black, and this is too too early for that. That'll come later. No queen could ever... So here is Lenore and her. Now, she did not want to marry him. This dude is gay, and he did not want, she did not want to marry Lenore or Valarion, but this is a long tradition of marrying. So this is her first husband, and um, this is where some of the plot gets uh, sticky with their supposed children. Obviously, we've talked about that before. <coughs> Naomi, Team Black. Yes, Team Black here, by the way. Uh-oh, we got Muhammad here. Uh, Muhammad uh, Akrat, Team Green forever because Allison is hot and she will live. <laughs> well, I mean, fair enough, Muhammad. Uh, yeah, she is, uh, she is not uh, hard to look at for sure. But I got to say, man, Team Black. Um. Lucis, yes, you know what they say about dragons with big feet. I do. They have huge fucking wings, man. Uh, apparently. Uh, what's up, uh, only one? How you doing? I'm, I'm up. Something uh, I lost you there for a second. HBO to Amazon, bend the knee or join me and refuse. I, I know, man. I'm I'm so worried about Lord of the Rings. I I won't, won't get into it here, but it the trailer looked better. Um, and I know there's compression on YouTube and Twitter or whatever you're you're looking at, but. Um, uh, I'm so worried about Lord of the Rings. We won't get into it here, but, uh, by the way, speaking of Twitter, by the way, if, I'd really appreciate you guys. If you do use Twitter, follow me over there. I'm trying to be more active on there and kind of grow that as well. Again, um, we'll, we'll see what happens, but, uh, that's where I'll be doing majority of my, like, any updates regarding anything. So if you, if you use Twitter, 
Do me a huge favor. There's a link. It's smokescreen vids. Everything smokescreen vids. Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Um, I'll, I'm, I'll be trying to do more than just like post video links uh, on there as well. So if you can follow me there, I really appreciate that. Uh, Master Sith, what's up, man? Thank you for the super chat. Uh, hey, Chris, getting hyped for the show. Cool stream. Thank you, man. I really appreciate the super chat. Master Sith, longtime supporter. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Let me get back to this. Oh, one second. Uh, Mikey G feels like they're setting up Amon as a character a lot more than Aegon based on trade. I, I agree. We, we saw, we get to see Aemon and of course, Aemon does ride Vagar. Uh, I won't say how for spoiler's sake, but he does end up on the biggest dragon in the realm. Um, so he, he plays a pivotal role and I will say, uh, without spoiling anything, really, let's just say Amond One Eye is very important in uh, First Blood. Let's say, let's say First Blood in the uh, actual Civil War. So, all right. Anyway, so Lenor Valarion, Young Rhaenyra, they're married now. She's not digging it. He's not really digging her either, obviously. But their kids come into play. Now, this is also, I wanted to say this, too, in the original trailer. This is different. Corliss coming out and saying supporting Damon is different. He supports his own uh, son and, uh, of course, his wife previously in the Council of 101. So him coming out and saying the, the, the king has an heir is a little bit of difference from the books. We did not hear this. So it's going to be interesting to see some of these conversations that we did not hear from the books because there's not a lot of dialogue, right? Uh, the books are more of a, a tale of history as opposed to dialogue. So that's what's going to be cool. It doesn't matter if I've read Fire and Blood 15 times. We just don't have all the details about what's happening in the show. So this is going to be really cool. So I'm interested to see this dynamic. This is going to be a little different from what we hear in Fire and Blood because he's all about uh, his family, right? He he likes Damon. They're friends. Uh, and he would he he would support him. I'm assuming and under the, those circum certain circumstances, but he has kids that have a right to uh, have a have a claim. So interesting. Uh, oops, here we go. All right, let me continue. I will not submit to you. This is Damon in the gold cloaks, and this is the undecisive Viserys. I will not be made to choose. You get a closer look at his apple. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck. His voting rock. We'll call them voting stones. How about that? Dragonstone voting stone. <clears throat> so he'd only maybe choose between his brother and his daughter. That will change, though. Obviously, I won't go into spoilers, but we'll see if Damon pisses him off and he'll name Rhaenyra. Gold cloaks getting their honor back or getting their gold cloak. So that's what's cool about this uh, time period is you're going to see the big creation of the gold cloaks. So we always heard through Game of Thrones called the gold cloaks, the gold cloaks this, and the gold cloaks that. They were the city watch, but they weren't wasn't called the gold cloaks. So Damon actually gets kicked off the council because of um, his brother. Basically, he was master of coin. He was master of laws. And Otto Hightower hates him and convinced uh, uh, Viserys to kick him off the council, but it makes him Lord Commander of the City Watch, and he brings honor back to the place. He gives him new weapons and new armor and gold cloaks, and that's why they are called the Gold Cloaks. So it's cool to see some of the history uh, from the Game of Thrones period. Uh, uh, Osama, yes, he paid a big price. He did pay a big price for getting Vagar, for sure. Um, he is wearing a patch over his eye. <laughs> that's, that's not exactly what happened. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Yes. He, he does get in a little, I say a skirmish before that. Um, video games, underground Damon's armor looks so much like, uh, El uh, Elric off, uh, Melonborn, uh, Melonbone. Freaking awesome. It is badass, dude. Uh, it's really badass. It's cool. Um, I'm assuming we'll see Damon in his armor. The first shot of the show that we see Damon. Uh, all right, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Lord Kev, we'll call him Dragon Balls. That's Dargon Balls. Yes, we'll, that certainly makes sense to me. All right. So this should be, uh, you see her, her, uh, Rhaenyra here with, uh, Harold Westerling. I'm assuming this is going to be when, this is Kristen Cole here. Um, but I believe this will be some of the houses vying for her hand. 
Um, they're not in the throne room pledging their loyalty. Uh, they probably have already done that. But now she's going to get all these dudes from all these houses um, coming in and uh, vying for her hand, obviously, going being named the queen. So I believe that's what this probably is. And then kind of in the center here, kind of symbolic, you got Kristen Cole in the middle of all this and you know, in a protective mode, I guess you could say. Um, but several houses here dropping in. Um, Alex, I'm team black, but Olivia is stunning. Uh, she is. Uh, I, th- I think Millie, uh, Millie, uh, is it Alcock? <laughs> is it Al- Alcock? I think she's stunning too. <clears throat> Dracarys Abdul. Uh, exactly. Uh, Mizuma, 100% would, sm- <laughs> would smash. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So they're I'm assuming here they're vying for a hand in marriage. They're presenting themselves. Hey, I have a son here, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the stunning, the stunning Sir Kristen Cole for, for you ladies out here. Um, you know, he is going to be the dad. You know, like him and Damon are very similar in a lot of ways. The young dashing knights or whatever. And there's a tear there between, you know, Kristen Cole Damon, they don't really like each other, but also um, Rhaenyra is in the middle of this, I think. We'll see which way she's pulled or which way she pushes for that matter. We'll see. This is the cool thing. We don't have these details. Uh, What's up, Tozy? How are you? Uh, What do you think of the dialogue and all the trailers? Do you think the series looks good? Uh, Looks um, So far, looks sounds like it has the got magic. I I do. I I really do. because uh, the dialogue, obviously, this is all new. There's not this stuff in the book so much, but um, it has the feel for sure. Uh, we have the music, Ramon's coming back. The just seeing the, I mean, look at the design of this armor compared to some of. Let's say if you watch the Lord of the Rings trailer, um, the Numenorians. It just you know it, it didn't look. It looked like a cosplay fest to me, and some and some scenes look really good. Don't get me wrong, but look at this compared to. You know, a couple of those shots is what I'm saying. They just have something they can do. Uh, it's so it's it's like magic. Um. So yeah. Uh, we got two dragons. I don't I, I don't know who I can't obviously say who the. Uh, hold on one second. I gotta back this up. I can't say obviously this this looks to be Cyrax from here. I can't tell. This dragon has a long ass neck. I don't know who this is. Uh, maybe that's Vagar from a distance, but that don't even look right to me. That's like a damn long... I mean, I know they were slightly different in appearance and all that stuff, but I don't know which... Dra- this is, First off, there's no color here, and I'm colorblind anyway. This could be uh, a Caraxes, because we're going to see a lot of Caraxes of Damon, but I don't know what the fuck this is. This looks like an elephant fucking neck dragon. <laughs> an elephant nose. <laughs> So I don't know which dragon has a huge long neck. I don't remember any descriptions about giant necks, but um, let's see. Uh, Abdul, a big fan from India. Appreciate it, man. Uh, welcome, welcome, Abdul. Yeah, be careful about the spam there. A nightbot will time you out uh, if you do too much, uh, like capital letters, emojis, and stuff like that. I uh, appreciate it, though. Um, uh, let's see, Jack. Who do you think uh, Reggio? I don't. Who is Reggio Haradis? Who is who is that? Uh, is that an actor? I, I I didn't do a lot of casting stuff, so I don't. Let me let me look at let me look that up. I don't know. Uh, I, I well actually I can't right now. Um, yeah, who is that? Uh, Tokus. Yes, apparently did Damon did smash most of them. Yeah, I think we'll see Rhaenyra probably lose her maidenhead uh, to Uncle Damon. Um, consensually, uh, yeah, because she did have a thing. So we'll see how she really is. She might have played both sides. We, we, we don't know. We don't know for sure. Um, Joshua Adams. Okay, there you go, Joshua. Caraxes and Cyrax. Uh, even the dragons will look different after the time jump. Caraxes' neck grows longer and Cyrax gets fatter. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, and if you see color there, good for you. I cannot see color there. I can see a little bit of something there. This is just dark to me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you, you're going to see a lot, for sure, uh, like you're saying, uh, Josh, you're going to see a lot of Cyr- uh, Cyrax and, and uh, Caraxes for sure. Um 
I want to clarify something. I saw a lot of people saying Meraxes in some of these videos uh, that I watched later on. Meraxes was uh, Visenya Targaryen's dragon way back when. There's no Meraxes right now. So this is Caraxes. That is Damon's dragon. Um, Brian. <laughs> Brian Piss. Any chance we see Starbucks coffee at any shots? Uh, there's a slight chance, Brian, we could see that. I think they probably learned from their mistakes, though, so I doubt, I doubt we'll see Starbucks. But there is a, there is a chance, man, for sure. Uh, oh, Jack, uh, the guy on the dog who says your family has dragon. I have not seen this dialogue yet. Let me say, this extended trailer is new to me. So let, is it, did I just pass that? Did I, let me, let me just let this play for a second. Okay, that's Otto. Okay, we got. I will not be made to choose between my brother. Okay, we've heard that. So um, we have not got there yet, right? I'm just skipping so I don't get copyright. I can't play too much of this. Back to here. Okay, so let's keep going. Rainies. So this is so we have Rainies. Uh, she knows what's going to happen. Uh, Corliss knows what's going to happen because they've been through this before with, with her and their kids. <laughs> so this is Damon coming in. It looks like to be this is going to be his crown for the Stepstones. So he's going to come in after he's been gone for a while. And uh, what's up, Matthew? How you doing, man? Uh, yeah, I can't wait either. Really getting really getting uh, excited for it. So uh, he's going to pop in here to offer peace to his brother. I was just looking. Oh, we got 200, 211 people up in here. Oh, cool, man. Welcome in. Welcome in. But he's going to come in after the War for the Stepstones. Corliss is going to put this crown in his head. Again, assuming that's correct from the books, from these uh, narrators, essentially. And uh, he will um, come in. Obviously, he's got the King's Guard saying, nope. Uh, <laughs> so he's going to come in, offer this crown to his brother, and Viserys will accept it because he always accepts his brother back. He is family. They are close, but they have these spats from time to time. Obviously, Damon's pretty hard-headed. Viserys is kind of indecisive in a lot of ways, but he's a good overall king. So uh, he's like, what are you doing? You know, And then he's probably going to offer him. I'm assuming uh, this is what's happening here in the scene. He'll offer him this crown. Um, uh, Jackson, what's up, Jackson? Have you watched the ring? I did not watch the Rings of Power panel, um, but I did not also... I only saw the screenshots of the House of the Dragon panel, so I, I actually have not seen it yet because the, the videos were not up yet yesterday when I was watching all that. So I'll go watch those uh, those panels for sure. Uh, I should have probably before, but I didn't know even know they were out yet. I figured they would be put up. I, I heard somebody say something earlier, but uh, I didn't have time. So I'll definitely go watch them. All right. Um, Betray King just to the left of Damon. What, here? I don't know. I don't know if that's here. Hold on. You are the king. The so this is when, uh, you know, Allison starts to come in. And, you know, obviously at this point, they're married. Uh, or she, she's kind of saying, okay. Because I'm what I'm betting here is that uh, uh, Otto Hightower is going to say, hey, look, you got to take another wife. You know, after Emma Aaron dies, this is his first wife. Um and we'll see what really happens with all those people. I think she was uh, natural. That's that's. Um, we'll see. There's some other things that are questionable about Damon, but yeah, this is uh, her saying, "Hey, you you need to you need to take a wife and have kids, and hey, do it with me." You think it me wise? I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. And this is what starts it. So Damon will see if he does the thing that makes his brother mad. <clears throat> looks like he's been talked into um, uh, at this point. He's decided, okay, I'm going to name uh, Renera because of some shit you did. I won't go into any spoilers. We'll see what happens because it could be wrong. I mean, we just don't know. <clears throat> and uh, we'll see. This is like he assumed he was the heir because he really was at this point. I mean, by by law, the the king's brother with no kids, no no sons. So he assumed he was heir. And uh, this is what Otto Hightower wants to prevent. So this is a big rift between them here. Uh, Matthew, need him, Laura Strong. Uh, Laura Strong, yep. Uh, I, I have not seen all the casting news, but yeah, we're definitely going to see the Strong. We have to see the Strongs. <clears throat> yeah, uh, and yeah, any, any. I was going to say, uh, Betrayed, for, any, for anybody about that earlier, 
I didn't want to go. I'm not going into spoilers, but you see these kind of plain looking brown hair dudes, probably Strong's. Just saying. Uh, Alex, what's up, man? Uh, Q&A, what do you think, uh, Hope? Think the plot of the Jon Snow will be, I kind of hope it's Sam coming back to Westeros to help everyone. Uh, yeah, we talked about that before. We'll talk about that. At, let's go through this first, but uh, and I'm happy to talk about it. But uh, I think the, I don't think he can do a show up beyond the wall himself in, in Tormund. I think he has to come back to Westeros. I don't know what that's going to be. Um, I hope it has something to do with his Targaryen heritage. Um, and we have... We have to get, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, I'm choking on my own slobber. We have to get some of these actors back from Game of Thrones uh, for it to make sense. So we we'll, we'll can get more into that here in a little bit. All right, let's get through this. Big rift coming there. Dragonstone. I love, by the way, Dragonstone's more smoky, a little more smoky and shit uh, uh, in, in this uh, versus. I mean, it was it looked great in Game of Thrones, don't get me wrong. But this is an active volcano island, by the way, which is why the dragons love it. So uh, I'm glad they're doing that. All right, so Damon pulling his sword here. This is when he's taking Masaria. This is Masaria, his mistress. Uh, she will be the unofficial master of master, mistress of whispers to Rhaenyra later on, the Black Council. Uh, but this is uh, apparently Otto Hightower here. I don't think this is in the books. But he wants to send a dragon egg, the one he stole, to take to her, give to her to go across the nearest sea uh, because she is pregnant now. And and Viserys says, nope, you cannot take dragon eggs. That is treason. Uh, so sends them to stop Damon. And he does comply, I will say. I don't know how they'll do it here, but he does comply and, and does not send the dragon egg, uh, to, I believe, unless they change this stuff. We'll see what happens. But Otto was not there. Now see, this is what I mean. This is that same scene. You got younger now. They're not. They're not. Uh, they're not. You know, they got clothes on. But this is uh, obviously Kristen Cole here with young Rhaenyra when he is her. You know, sworn shield, and um, she's asking, "Do you think people will accept me as their queen?" Uh, and I think this is they're getting intimate here. I believe we'll see what happens. So this is going to be cool. So we see Rainey's talking to, you know, after, you know, they bent the knee and they did swear fealty, but she knows better than all that bullshit, right? She's been through this. We'll see at the one, the council in episode one. She's been through this. Her kid's been through this, um, uh, even unborn, which was the rightful heir at the time. And so she knows what's going to happen. She's already, she's already like on her side. So she will support her, obviously, Team Black. And I don't think, like somebody asked earlier, she'll uh, switch to, to green. When I'm queen, I'm Kristen Wade. This is now, now, this is probably when we come into the second half of the season here, uh, probably. I, I don't know how many episodes. I could, I'm just guessing. But we see, you know, obviously older Renera, and now things have changed. When I'm queen, I'm Kristen Wade. Here's her on Cyrax. This will be the war for the Stepstones. We saw this before. Hatching and trying to hatch a dragon here. This is what I love seeing Caraxes here. I love this, and I'm glad I caught that in the because uh, at first I didn't. It was hard to see, but during the trailer breakdown here, we have the saddle, and then we get the close up later. It's got the Targaryen logo, so at least some of these dragons will have saddles, which I think makes 100 percent sense. Uh, should have been more of them and i mean game of thrones i think after a while danny should have had saddles made and that's fine you know she was brand new to the whole thing learning as she went but uh and they, these days this, this day and age this was so common so i'm glad to see that we have uh, this saddle thing here around caraxes and he's one of my favorite dragons he's also called the red worm obviously he's got this red and black so he looks badass uh, he's kind of like the uh, kind of like the drogon of the time period as far as his color goes. All right, this is what I mean. So I didn't say this in the in the thing because it was the last couple of real quick shots, and the, the camera looks a little odd, the angle, because that, like, this is somebody looking up. That looks like it could be, I think this is Amond. So this is why I think, because uh, before I just skipped over this, I believe this is Amond, obviously, before the patch. What's up, Zara? How are you doing? Uh, and then we see this big-ass foot. This is probably Vagar. 
Look how big. Now it's hard to tell from the angle, but you have the, the you know back here. This could be a really close up shot, obviously, because Vagar is you know fucking giant. So that looked to be Amon. So this is probably the night Amon is going after Vagar, and we'll see the other kids involved and what happens. But that's why I think this Vagar at the end uh, of the the teaser. So Vagar, I believe Amon looking up. Um, looks like that's Damon probably in the same scene where he's taking the dragon egg. These are the Triarchy. Wait a minute, hold on. What did she say? This is new, right? Targaryens are close to gods and to men. Okay, so Targaryens are close to... Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm backing that up again. Targaryens are close to gods and to men. Okay, so Renair is saying here, Targaryens are closer to gods than to men. So I can't tell if this is Viserys here or maybe Daemon, but I'm assuming this is Viserys. Uh, she's still young here. It's, it's almost like she's reciting this. Like, you know, she's been taught this, obviously, but it's almost like somebody's making her recite it. It's hard to tell by her tone. So this is Targaryens are closer to gods than they are to men. And this is what they believe, uh, and they were, essentially. Uh, Shiku, bye. What's up, Shiku? How you doing? This is definitely a big art. Yeah, I mean, it has to be. Uh, yeah, Jack. Young Aemon. Has to be young Eamon because we do see the shot of uh, a little bit older Eamon at least. Uh, the yes, the blood worm, uh, Caraxes, Cody. What's up, Cody? How you doing? <clears throat> yeah, blood. Uh, the blood worm, Caraxes is one of my favorite dragons, uh, and and honestly, Damon is one of my favorite all time Targaryens. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a little biased there. Uh, Randy, they could have a John and Tormund ice fishing show. They could do that. I mean, people would watch it. Uh, Musi, what's up, Musi? Uh, Otto is a sob. Yeah, Otto Hightower is a son of a bitch. I mean, hey, if you if you like him, fine. I I just you know you'll see, you'll see. He's a bastard. Closer to gods than men. Yeah, this was their whole thing, man. This is why they um, they intermarried with the Valarions throughout the history and to keep their bloodlines pure and all that stuff. And of course, before that was for dragon bonding and stuff, not just their looks, but um. This is uh, important to their their beliefs. Um, they were looked upon like that. And then once this happened and then there were no more dragons, people thought, eh, they're just people. They're just people. But these are supposed to be the Tolkien elves, right? I mean, the Tolkien had his elves. Uh, ethereal beauty is the way they were described, and that's what the Targaryens are supposed to be. Damon. So this right here, I mentioned this too as well. This is her talking to, this has to be Aegon, right? This has to be her son, Aegon. This is obviously older, uh, Alicent, um, and she has to be talking to Aegon. I'm assuming this will be the night of the, the first Green Council meeting when um, uh, Viserys dies, and she's talking Aegon into taking the throne immediately, even though Rhaenyra is supposed to be called from Dragonstone. Renera doesn't find out for like what I think it's two weeks I believe I could be wrong if I'm I could be misremembering for two weeks she doesn't know her father or a week or two something like that I, I'm, I'm trying to uh, maybe I'm misremembering but they don't tell Renera immediately because this council gets together they kill the dude that found that found the king so nobody finds out and she's talked because Aegon was not like he was young he was down for. Whatever I mean, he is Rene. He knew Renera was the the heir, but this is now the king's son with her, and she's like, "Look, you can be king. You're supposed to be king. If she gets power, you'll never be king, and your children will never be king." Blah blah blah. So now she's playing up to him about, "Hey, you got to take the throne. We'll put you on the throne right now," and that's exactly what they do. <clears throat> Uh, Jackson, you might have to get, uh, if you, if you can get a uh, mod to paste, uh, post that, you may not be able to post a link. I won't be able to see it probably. A mod can post links if you don't, uh, rings of power panel for you is divided up into parts. You can find the rest of the parts on YouTube channel, uh, part one. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can, uh, how you can type that. If you can type it in a way, maybe to where it's not coming up as a link and then a mod can throw that together as a link, maybe put some spaces in something. I don't know. And then a mod can uh, can can uh, post that as well, or 
Um, they can post it on Patreon if they're a member of that as well, and I can see it directly. Uh, let me check that. Oops, real quick. All right, let's finish this. New shot of... Uh, uh, looks like Renera here. I don't know. Like same shot. Valyrian steel. This is, uh, I don't know if this is the cat's paw, but it's definitely a Valyrian steel dagger. It looks a little different, but they did say there may be the same dagger that may have belonged to Aegon at one point. Um, and it's been changed over the years. So I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. It doesn't look the same design, but they did say we might see that change. So I don't know what she's doing with this dagger here. Let me back this up a little bit. She will block my way. So we have basically Renera now saying she's going to block my way. And then, you know, Allison was telling Aegon she's going to block your way. So Allison's now living out her dream of sitting on the Iron Throne through her son. And that's when Rainey's actually says about it. That's going to be really cool to see. Um, Uncle Lent, quick stop in. 236 watching. Ain't shabby. Smash that like button. Yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, really cool to see all of you coming back. Get the family back together. All right, let's finish this up. So here we now we have uh, Amond, and uh, Amond has an eye patch on. This is just probably some training here. This is a little bit older Amond, I'd imagine. He now has an eye patch, and again, just for spoiler's sake, I know most of you probably know, but we won't say how. We do know that he does end up with an eye patch for some reason. And he does ride Vagar, but that will be central to the plot. So we have Aemon here, Aemon one eye. This is um, Viserys' and Alicent's son. Uh, their third son, I believe. You had Helena, uh, Daron, and Aemon, correct? I believe I got that right. There's so many Targaryens and Valerians that I'm, I, I'm forgetting half their names. Um, but Aemon will play a big role as well. So it was cool to see him because I did not see... I didn't do a lot of casting stuff. I did some of the major ones, but uh, it was cool to see him. Uh, yeah, and Jack, by the way, uh, those Valyrian daggers are expensive and rare, so not surprised it's the same. They are, but they also, even during these days, were expensive and rare because uh, they could these this group of Targaryens, they did not have... Remember... All the Targaryens that came over and then ended up being the line of Aegon, the Conqueror and all that, they didn't know the secrets to Valyrian steel. They lost all that in the Doom. So the Targaryens are just as clueless as everybody else about Valyrian steel. They only know that it was, you know, from their culture. Uh, Ask the Chiefs, what's up, man? Q&A, will the Citadel and Maesters play a major role in this? We'll talk about it in a second. There may be a big uh, plot point that is kind of been a theory for a long time in the books that the Maesters and Citadel will may or may not play. I don't personally, I've never been 100% sure either way. I don't think it is, but um, let's just say that the High Towers, Otto High Tower, they're from Old Town. Um, and so they may play a role uh, with dragons. We'll talk about that in a second. Remind me, Alex, about that. Remind me, we'll talk about it in a second. What's up, AJ Montgomery? How are you? Welcome, welcome. We're going over this extended trailer here. We'll be done with this in a second, we'll get back to any and all questions. So this is a great shot we talked about in the teaser. They're together right here, BFFs, that they're young. And then the next shot, the next, their hearts are never one, and now they're completely separate as they're older. They've uh, Obviously, this is symbolic of what's going on with their relationship. Corliss Valerion, badass. He's going to be in battle here. Uh, I kind of like this helmet, man. Uh, that's badass. This is going to be the War for the Stepstones, which is Damon's little side quest or whatever. Um, so we're seeing some battle shots here. Um, it's not Game of Thrones without some battle. So this will be the major battle we see for Season 1 because obviously the dance won't actually start till. See, why do I keep seeing my lights flashing? Uh, the dance won't start till, uh, till at least Season 2, mid-Season 2, something like that. Uh, AJ Montgomery, thank you for subscribing. If you did, you said it just subscribe. I didn't see it pop up, but it could be delayed. I do have uh, the notifications on. So thank you, man. I appreciate it. We're trying to get there. We're trying to get there. This is going to be interesting. This is not a book thing. So their relationship's not described at all. So it's going to be cool to see this uh, relationship here with Rainey's and uh, Allison. Because she knows she's right. She's like, you know you pictured yourself sitting there. 
and this is probably what helps make her make the decision to you know live through her son on the throne essentially and she would be basically in power almost like i mean look she's not a cersei but almost like cersei in the sense of you know Tommen and and uh joffrey Caraxes, we got Boros. Should be Boros Baratheon. It could be another random Baratheon, but um, this is going to be at the tournament, it looks like, again here, because we've got a different flag here. But we see the stag of Baratheon here on the shield. House Valarion walking up. This is going to be King Crab, and the. Uh, I won't, again, go into any details here for spoilers. Let's just say this is cool. You see men strapped to the beach here, and you can imagine what's going to happen when the tide comes in. Um, this is going to be the first real dragon action in battle. This is going to be Caraxes at the War for the Step. You see all the people down here dying or fighting and whatever. This is Damon on Caraxes here. You see the saddle here. That's really cool. You can kind of see the saddle right there. Um, and kind of the, looks like it's got like a seat kind of thing on it. So dragon saddles, which we talked about at Game of Thrones, really cool. And he, <clears throat> he's going to come in with Caraxes and uh, wipe them out, all of them. Uh, this is what he's talking about. So I don't know. I can't see this clearly. Let me try to get a... <coughs> <coughs> this looks like Alicent by her hair and braids, but I can't really tell. She looks pregnant. Um, so I don't know. This could be Alicent and Viserys in front of a pyre, uh, but I don't know. Alicent wouldn't... I don't know where this would be. This looks like... It could be on Dragonstone. Uh, it could be on Driftmark. Um, but... This may be Allison pregnant. I don't. If if it could be just the way she's holding this thick dress. I don't know. Um, I can't really make that out to be one hundred percent sure. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I just can't tell. Who do y'all think this is? That to me, this looks like Allison's face, the older Allison. So this may be about Sarah's and Allison in a, in a pyre here. I don't know if this would be a funeral thing um, that's already kind of fell down or something. Um, I don't, she has, she has a stillborn at one point as well. So that could have just, uh, but that would be too close together. So I don't know if this is, I don't think this is a funeral. Could be. Um, But I can't really, I just can't see enough. It's just a silhouette. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um. Yeah, Jack. The Celtic Guards uh, should have Valyrian features. I don't know if we'll see them in the show. Uh, we, we, we should, but, um, at least later on. But yeah, you have, remember, basically you have the three Valerian, uh, Valerian houses. You have the Celtigars of Claw Isle. They'll have the Crab uh, Sigil. You'll see the Valerians. Obviously, they did that different with Corliss and his kids being a black dude and mixed, um, but the they're, they're not in the books. And then the uh, original ones were not because that was, uh, Valerian was actually Aegon the Conqueror's mother. So that would permeate throughout the whole thing because these Valyrian traits are recessive so they're changing that but I think it's a good thing we talked about that before it's not some political thing or whatever I think it's a really good decision for a show especially because this is why you can't see like all these uh, you know Targaryens and stuff they all look similar with weird names with a Y in it right so it's a really good decision for the show um, but yeah so those are your three Valyrian houses uh, House Dane is similar, but they're not actually Valyrian. So apparently, so that's the three. Now they've all been here the whole time. Like they, you know, they just obviously were they were intermarried with the Targaryens because the Targaryens were the only dragon rider family. So you had a lot of Valyrian families. Uh, most were not dragon riders. The Targaryens were actually a fairly minor house over in old Valyria, um, but they were dragon riders. So that put them above everybody else in the sense of uh, trying to retain that dragon blood, all that good stuff. Uh yeah, uh, Asina, yeah. Uh I'm sorry. Any and any Cena. Any Cena, welcome. Um yeah, or the birth it could be. It could be very well could be that. Maybe they're trying to hatch a dragon here. We got the power and uh you know, again, this group of of uh, Targaryens this time period, they still dragons still hatch, but they didn't really know exactly how it was happening. I don't think. That's what was always my interpretation. Um I think fire and blood is a big clue, and Danny kind of proved that. But uh, this could very well be, yeah, uh, of power to to hatch a dragon. But you know, sometimes they just hatch. They put them in their cribs, and they tried to incubate them. You saw on fire, kept them on fire all the time. Danny tried that as well. Uh, just didn't work till she added some blood to the mix. So 
<clears throat> this this could be. I'm not sure though. I don't know during this time period uh, other than uh, Allison having her kids, you know, with Viserys, who that could be. So I think that's her. Uh, Luko, uh, let's see. I think it's Viserys and Ama at your Harris's funeral. Now that's uh, certainly a possibility. Yeah, uh, it could be. I was just saying, uh, it, it this silhouette just looks like Allison, but it, you're right. It could absolutely be Ama Aaron. We will see her for a little bit for sure. So this could be uh, Jaharis's uh, funeral pyre. Um, it's just hard to tell from the background, obviously, because Jaharis should have a big ceremony. Um, uh, Nolan, yes, there will be Starks in the show. We will see Starks, not very often, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see Starks in the show for sure. We 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 saw Kreegon Stark come down in Square Fealty, so we'll see him. Uh, we'll see Silverwing head up to the wall, uh, not to the wall. Uh, to um, Winterfell when the dance starts. So we'll see some of that stuff, asking for help for Team Black. Um, so uh, we'll definitely see him, just not as often as, uh, uh, you know, obviously Game of Thrones. Uh, Miss Margaret, thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. If you're in the chat, thank you, Miss Margaret. Uh, I'm not sure if somebody's in the chat or just watching other videos. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Charky, there's Eamon. The close-up of Eamon. Let's see here. Let me... Close up of Eamon one eye, and I can't tell. That might be that's probably Kristen Cole. I believe this is probably Kristen Cole. This is the beginnings of Team Green, ladies and gentlemen. For for those handful the handful of you in here who might be Team Green, this is uh this is your core group of Team Green here, besides Aegon himself. So Kristen Cole, I believe, and then uh Eamon as a uh, older Eamon. Obviously by then he's riding Vagar, all that good stuff as well. So Really cool to see him. I'm curious to see how he's depicted. I don't know. Um, this was the same as the trailer, so we won't go into all this. But she's trying to stab probably either Rhaenyra or one of her kids. Again, it's related to spoilers, uh, so I won't talk about that. Um, I don't know what Dame is taking. This is young, obviously, Rhaenyra. Dame is taking this necklace from her. Um is she, does she like her Uncle Damon here? Does she like Kristen Cole? Does she like both? We'll see. We'll see what happens. We get some shoulder here. Somebody's taking off some clothes. This is indicating there's going to be some uh, sexual activity. <laughs> and I think this is Renera. I think this is young Renera, and it's probably, uh, I'm just going to throw out a guess here, that same scene with Kristen Cole, because that looks to be the same uh, dress thing she was wearing. If you can kind of see the detail in there. I believe, believe we're going to see some vows broken, but I don't know. Maybe she's trying to seduce. It goes both ways. We don't know the true story, the way Mushroom tells it, and Septon Eustace and all that in Fire and Blood. Sacrifice. Uh, there we go. There's there's a close up. See, you can see the Targaryen siege around uh, Caraxes is uh, saddle here. So this is very cool. You can see the red, the red in him, the red, <clears throat> the the blood worm. Um, same scene here. Now they see you as you are, same as... And this has to be Vagar, right? I mean, <clears throat> I'm colorblind. I see green eyes. We kind of got the build up with the big footsteps and Eamon looking up, young Eamon at Vagar. <coughs> Vagar is the most famous at this point, besides Beleriand being dead and the biggest. So I think this has to be Vagar, right? Anybody see... I mean, I'm colorblind, so this looks to be Vagar to me, though. I see green eyes. Uh, John Snow rules. Did you read the article that revealed more about the show? I, I haven't read any articles uh, recently, John Snow rules, so I don't know which one. What's up, Lady Jen? How are you? Have to work in the tomorrow, so say goodnight. Uh, where is there a smoke screen? There's fire, fire and blood. Thank you, Lady Jen, for hanging out. Appreciate you. Uh, hello, Shelly Arena. How are you? Um, let's see. What's up? Jay is bored. I know a couple people. Uh, yeah, Tolkis, uh, I agree. Uh, I do believe Eamon looks the part. He, I like uh, I like his look, especially older Eamon. Younger Eamon, of course, these are all kids anyway. Uh, but older Eamon looks pretty cool. I agree. So let's see. Is there anything else? So we got the same standard ending. Yep, okay. All right, so there's your extended trailer. Very cool. So we got a couple new little scenes and a couple little more lines of dialogue. Let me go back to... Uh, end game here and get my chat back over here where I can see you guys and read. Let me close that. 
and uh, let me check uh, Patreon real quick while I move. Let me switch these windows again, and then move my chat back over here where I can read properly. Um, no other Patreon questions I don't see. All right, uh, all right. So, really cool, man. Thank you guys for letting me know. I didn't even. I knew I read something or heard something yesterday about an extended trailer. After Comic Con, um, but I did not actually even know they released it. But apparently, it was right before we started streaming. So good timing, good timing. I was going to go over the old one anyway. Uh, but again, I have a more detail. If you hadn't watched the video, um, the last video I did, uh, can a mod grab that link for me, if you don't mind? The trailer breakdown. I have an in-depth, shot-by-shot breakdown. Um, maybe a little more detail than we did right there. So if you haven't checked it out, uh, feel free to watch that. I'd really appreciate it. Um, give it a like and all that good stuff as well. Uh, it's really it's really started to bring the channel back, actually. Like I'm saying, uh, YouTube-wise, that's the first time I've seen 20,000 views since 2019. So really cool. Still got 235 people in here. Very cool, man. Um, i tell you what. So uh, we'll go a little longer. Um, if you guys are down, if you'll give me... Uh, a couple minutes uh, to go to the restroom. Meg Paul, I'm so fucking pumped, but like in a reserved way. <laughs> that's that's me. That's exactly the way I feel, Meg. So, yeah, if you'll give me a second to use the uh, little boys' room, I will be right back. Um, Shelly, Chris, check out San Diego Comic Con 22. Everyone was there. George was the cherry uh, on the cake. Yeah, no, I did watch all the updates live and stuff. I just didn't. They didn't stream any of the panels, but we watched a couple things they did stream, but it was all like local booths and stuff. There wasn't any actual... Thing. So I'll go watch those for sure. Um, yeah, funny mods can grab the last video link and post it. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, maybe James could take surely take one night off from the strip club. Uh, Jay is bored. Chat demands dusty milkshake. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him that for sure. Uh, you can take one night off from the strip club, man. Um, smile factor. I'm going to be casual about this show until they win me over. So I look forward to your insights and everything. Yeah, man, uh, I, you know, look, I, the more I've seen of it, the more I've seen, um, uh, you know, that it's going to be legit, uh, straight up legit. So uh, what's up, Bolting Vulture? Welcome, welcome. For those that in Red Fire and Blood, even as a refresher, those like me that have, uh, you can do a video side by side of younger slash older selves from the trailer so it will be clearer who is. So, yeah, I think I'll do that, actually, Bolting. I think I'll do a real quick Five minute video, maybe this week. Um, watch this first. I think my lights are blinking. I know they're short now. I got to fix them. Um, so they might just go out behind me. Um, but yeah, I think I'll do like instead of because I got all the detailed character breakdowns, like all these different characters, the main characters, Renera, Damon, um, Allison, Otto, Hightower, all that stuff. But I may do a quick little, little five minute video, um, of like you know, watch this first before you know, House of the Dragon. And quickly go over the characters. All right, this is the same person, different ages, but there's only two of those, and kind of make it clearer. Because uh, there's a lot of, you know, you know how it was when you first started watching God, if you hadn't read the books, just like, who was that again? Who was the guy with the lion? Who was the lion dude again? Who was the, you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of that for sure. Uh, Luco, thank you for subscribing. Luco Zotola, appreciate it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hope you're welcome, welcome. I don't know if uh, he's in the chat or watching another video. John Snow, uh, have a good one, man. How John Snow rules have to go, but look forward to the show and your coverage. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, all right. Uh, give me one second, guys. We'll come back and do another 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll get out of here. So uh, here, I'll put on some. Let me let me skip to another song. I'll put on some music for you guys. Give me one second. There you go. And uh, I will be, uh, let me do the thing here. I'll be right back.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, did you say dance break? That's exactly what I was doing, Meg. All right, let me... Uh, should I... Should I keep that real low? Oh, oops. Should I keep that real low in the background for y'all? It's too loud for me, though. Okay. We'll just stop it. Fat boy. What's up, man? Uh, do dragons have sex in this show? Uh, I, I mean, <clears throat> I doubt they'll show show dragon sex. It's uh, it's not. It's really unclear. They say actually, there's female and male dragons, and they say sometimes they can change their sex or whatever. So it's um, but they do call them she dragons and he dragons in the books. So I'm assuming there's some kind of activity that takes place, probably in those caverns on Dragonstone. Um, can't imagine that'll be a smooth process either. <laughs> Zara, Zara. How are you, Zara? Um, anyway, that trailer looks really good, man. Uh, it may, it got me more hyped about it. Um, I feel better about, uh, the potential for this channel to be revived a little bit, but again, again, you know, it's kind of like those, it's kind of like, um, you know, is it going to do well for the 10 weeks it's on and go right back to the trash? Or yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think if the show's good and we get some stuff we can theorize on, we can talk about during the off seasons, then I think we'll be okay for a while. But <coughs> Betrayed King, good night, man. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. Where is duty? Where is sacrifice? Good night. Uh, have a good one, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Moon Boy, what's up, man? Uh, I'm just going to wait to see this before I get excited about it. Yeah, no, I, I look, I completely understand, um, you know, hey, Game of Thrones will never, it will always have my heart broken, I think. they will never be, unless they actually retcon it and say the last two seasons don't count here and fix it, which they're not going to do. It'll always be heartbreaking the way some things went down, but I can't let that get in the way of these great stories, man. There's so many, and, I'm, and I promise you guys, if you hadn't read... Duncan Egg, those are some of the greatest stories, man. Uh, and I would, I, I said this last week, I would put money on Duncan Egg being the next greenlit prequel. Uh, even before Jon Snow, uh, because I know George R. R. Martin will be pushing that hard, for sure. Pen Muse, Sundrop Break. I got it right here. I'm taking little sips as my throat gets uh, worse and worse. That's also the problem with not having James is I have to talk the entire time. <laughs> and I can't. I can't pass it off to him. So my throat gets sore as shit. <clears throat> uh, someone, oops, didn't know there was a social distancing in mode. <laughs> I didn't know that was either. Um, by the way, we, we're going to update some things here. Um, I want to get with a couple of you uh, Patreon uh, supporters, uh, executive producers, as we used to have our little meetings and stuff. Let me actually close that. That was the other trailer. And we need to add some more emotes for channel members and stuff like that. We need to do some, um, I'll do some something for channel members, uh, like exclusive stuff that will only be behind um, the channel membership uh, post wall. So if you see like the, on YouTube, you can post now, right, regular stuff or whatever, pictures and comments, etc. cetera. Um, you can do that for members only, and um, those will say that. So... We're, we're, we're trying to get everything kind of updated. We got to do some new merch and stuff and see what happens. Um, all that kind of stuff as well. So I want some, I want, I would like to bounce some ideas off some of you guys that for some time for sure. So that'd be cool. Try to update some of this stuff. Cause we have, uh, these emojis and stuff that you can leave. It'll show the, the logo beside your name and chat comments, all that stuff. As you see from some of these channel members like Zara here, um, Zara, you can see the thing beside her. She's been a member for for years now. Doc Holiday, she'll get some of these emotes here. Now, some of these are for my Twitch stuff uh, and my book stuff. So, um, does that's another thing you can get. But we need to add some like uh, obviously uh, House of the Dragon related stuff as well. So, we want to start you know trying to update some of that as well. Get it kind of updated here from from 2019. Um, but uh, it's kind of got kind of like. Uh, the you know twitch in, in that sense aj that's all right gotta go sorry don't don't apologize that's that's perfectly fine have a good one thanks for hanging out appreciate you you being here 
Uh, Jay is bored. I don't know how I feel about Dunkin' Egg being next. There's only three books. I don't really uh, want HBO getting ahead of. Well, that's true, but I mean, Jay, would you rather see Winds of Winter and then potentially Dream of Spring or more Dunkin' Egg stuff? You know what I mean? Uh, they could do three seasons and then bring it back when they can, you know, uh, without passing it. Um, I, I think that'll be the best move because then you can start going over. You have Aegon the the you have Aegon running around as Egg with uh, Sir Duncan the Tall with uh, obviously she, he's related to Brienne of Tarth, and then you get some Blackfire Rebellion stuff, and eventually you get to Blood Raven, who is alive obviously as the Three Eyed Raven during Game of Thrones, but the actual young Sir Brendan Rivers Blood Raven. So uh, that would be cool, and it's really good stories. Then you'll get to see Trial by Seven and all that good stuff as well. Uh, and a young Targaryen running around uh, with a shaved head. That'd be that. That'd be a really good show, man. Um, uh, let's see. So we got uh, oh seventy six thousand nine hundred and sixty. So we did gain a couple subs during the. We probably lost a few, but we did gain a couple subs during the stream. We're forty away from seventy seven k again. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna keep this stupid sub go up here in all these videos, man. We gotta we gotta we gotta get this thing going. Uh, bolting dude, Randy showing off his emotes. Yeah, we got to update these emotes, Randy. I know we, we got to get, got to update these emotes too. Um, bolting vulture, you think there'll be a flashback to princess area situation? I like that scene to start mentioning the major's name and bookers just uh, have a shiver knowing what's about to happen. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they'll do that or if they'll, uh, if that would be relevant to this story, but. Um, we were talking about that the other la last week, was it last week? Uh, I believe we talked about area a minute and, um, yeah, without saying what happened, she comes back with a pretty bad situation and it's really kind of a mystery to the maester. So I don't know if that'll be relevant to this show. Um, but it's certainly possible. We'll see. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Um, we just don't know what they're going to do because they've been kind of mixed about flashbacks and stuff. You know what I mean? So, um, Ryan S., thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Ryan, if you're in the chat here, I don't know. Uh, it could be people just subscribing from uh, the breakdown video or other videos or whatever. But uh, thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it. That's uh, That's one more closer. Now we need 39 to get to 77K. Uh, Alex uh, Castillo, yes. Um, after Duncan Ed, we get Black Fiber. But I think that's where they'd have to go. Um, I think that's where they have to go. But yeah, I mean, he's got a lot more to write for those. But uh, I think you could have three good seasons of Duncan Egg right now, uh, and then don't continue it. You know, don't continue it. Just let it. Just say season four is coming sometime until he has another story written, but I think uh, he's got to get WoW done at least before he can even think about stuff like that. Um, so uh, it's, it's just the problem, you know, with this stuff is, you know, this one author has to do all this stuff, and he's also involved in all the TV shows, and we're just not going to get it all, so unfortunately. Uh, Jay is bored. Pound the, <laughs> pound the like button like Jamie pounded Cersei, y'all. <laughs> Jesus, yes. Um, uh, Fat Boy, sorry if I missed it, but we're ever are we ever going to see Balerion the Dread in live action? Uh, it would have to only be a flashback, Fat Boy. So I don't think we will. Um, and again, unless they have a little flashback or uh, maybe they do like a memory scene or a dream or something like that, they could do some of that. Um, people are speculating we might see that with Viserys and the, his dialogue. Maybe he's got some prophetic dreams. But he could also dream of stuff like because he he um, he is uh, the last one to have ridden him when he was very young, and that was when he was already old. And once he flew a couple of circles with him, he never took another dragon. So we could see something like that. I don't know. Uh, they've had mixed things on flashbacks. Sometimes they're like, "No, nah, we don't do a bunch of flashbacks," and then some of the things they put out make you think there's going to be some flashbacks. So. Um, but we definitely going to see a skull, but in action, I, I can't say hundred percent. I would say probably not. I think they'll keep him as legend and then we'll see obviously Vagar. This will essentially be the Balerion of this time period as far as his size, just like Drogon was during Game of Thrones. So I, I don't know. I hope 
too. That would be cool. I don't have a problem with flashbacks if they're done right. You know, don't overdo it, but yeah. Um, but it is possible that we do see some flashbacks. Um, they're thinking maybe they may flash back to some Aegon days, Aegon the Conqueror days, Visenya Rainies. That would be cool. Um, if because uh, I think you're gonna have like out like for example, we saw the line earlier where where uh, Rhaenyra is saying Targaryens are closer to gods than men. If somebody's having this like lesson with her and this Viserys kind of teaching her the things she needs to know because she's being around court as a cupbearer and all that, uh, being in preparation for her to be queen, you could have some of these flashbacks that I think would work if they do it right, where you see some of this history. So I think it's possible, but I, 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 would, I wouldn't bet on it. We'll see. True Seeker, what's up, man? I'm late. What's up, G? Where is your boy? James is, uh, I guess, probably in the bed. He works a regular first shift job early so that's why he can't make these live streams. It's pretty much just scheduling stuff, but I don't know if he's as excited for this as he was God. But then again, I told him uh, he wasn't excited for God either. He was never really a big fantasy person. Um, but he's seen the trailers. He's seen some videos, you know, and stuff like that. He just, he's going to be the same way as like, he don't know this time period as well, obviously. So, um, been trying to get him here, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I'll, I'll talk to him in the next couple of weeks and, and kind of finalize that and see what's going to happen. Um, otherwise, otherwise, uh, it's just little old me. I apologize. I know it's not as fun. I, I get it. it it's not. Um, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, we have. Uh, I'm showing 193. That's pretty good. We made it to. Uh, I think we made it to two. We had uh, concurrent was. 181 is showing now. I think we had 270. We had 270 at one point. It's showing here anyway. That's pretty good. It's pretty cool. I appreciate everybody in here either way. Um, Meg Paul, Chris loves a good Rhaegar flashback and all show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Rhaegar was just underwhelming. I mean, come on. Look, the hair. Like, what I was saying, like, okay. Let me pull it for, for, for shits and giggles. Let me do this for a second, really quick. And before we get out of here, let me move my chat back for a second. This is all I meant by, about last week. <coughs> I'm sorry. My throat's getting dry. Um, Let me find this trailer. I just want to, one little quick thing to mention about the look of some of these characters. Uh, here, I'll open this with, uh, we'll do. VLC. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't take off on me there. All right. So let me let me switch this really quick just to show what I'm talking about. Uh where is that display? All right. Um full screen. All right. So you see Damon here. I don't know, right there. He's got long hair, but what is the one? Let's find this scene. There's uh gorgeous Rhaenyra. Where is the scene where Damon? All right, there's short hair Damon, or uh, it looks like it's short there, pretty much cut off. All right, there you go. To me, that's Damon. Look at the long flowing hair, as Targaryens were described, long flowing hair, as opposed to, I don't know. Like there, there, there again. There's Damon. This is what I always imagined. This is this looks right to me. This long hair, Damon with uh, Caraxi is there. But then you have these other shots that reminded me it, when I first saw the trailer, and I think it was the one on the beach and stuff. Um, let's see if I can find a shot. Don't know if there's one in this, but you know that what I'm saying is that opposed to like the Rhaegar short wig. Uh, I, I know there's some shots in here of Damon with shorter hair at different time periods, but all these are long uh, now that I want to talk about it. But anyway, you get my idea. Like, this is kind of like, that. that's not that's not right. You know what I mean? Why is that? That, But that's not what I was, you know, Rhaegar had that kind of short shoulder length southern haircut as opposed to this long flowing hair on everybody. Yeah, I don't. I don't guess there's a shot. Whatever. You know what I mean. You get what I'm saying. That's what I always imagined was 
Hello. Hello, Millie. Anyway. All right, let me close that and move this back again. All right. That's all I had to complain about Rhaegar. By the way, Rhaegar had the four-headed dragon on his uh, thing. His... Uh, As opposed, yeah, the mullet, exactly, Randy. I mean, it was essentially a mullet, right? Just looks odd to me. That's off to me, but that's okay. Um, all right, let's see here. What's up, Lady Celtic? How are you? There's Lady Celtic. Howdy, howdy. How are you, Lady Celtic? I haven't seen you in a while. Glad you stopped by. Um, Randy, what did you say? If if it catches fire, it might inspire James just to follow, to just follow and show up sometimes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you. If what catches fire? Um, let's see. Pain is a lie. Seventeen seventy six. What's up, man? Uh, are the rumors true? Is there going to be a Jon Snow Aegon Targaryen series? Um, the rumors are true that it is in development. I don't know if it ever sees the light of day, but it is a fact that it is, is one of these shows in development. Uh, and Kit Harrington, by the way, is the one who approached George R. R. Martin about it and brought his own writing team. So they are much further along than we th uh, knew about, um, for sure. And uh, right now they've written scripts, and uh, I think they're trying to get pilots for all these is where they're at. So it is true, but... Uh, we don't know if it'll ever actually make it to be a series. So the next steps will be somebody will determine, uh, is it good enough? Is the script good enough for a pilot episode, which will be ordered? The pilot would be shot. They would bring all the people in, the actors, et cetera, and then go from there. Uh, even if they make it to pilot, doesn't mean it makes it to show, as we saw with Blood Moon. Blood Moon got canceled after they spent $30 million on a pilot episode. Um, uh, Musi, hubba hubba, crowd scene, elf, <laughs> agree. Um, yeah, yeah, Jack, that's kind of what I pictured. A bit of, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, Jack. That's that's kind of now that you say that, who I thought about is Legolas. Um, that's what the Targaryens are supposed to be, though. Is is the the definitely see my lights blinking? I apologize if they go out. Um, Legolas and the elves are essentially where uh, George R. R. Martin decided to go the high fantasy route of the elves, and they were supposed to have this otherworldly, ethereal beauty, and that's what I imagine. And when I see that short, weird mullet, it just drives me crazy. But anyway, that's just you know being picky. <clears throat> the Trey King Damon, fighter of the night. Nightmon, champion of the sun, your master of karate, karate, and friendship for everyone. Yes, Damon is um, a lot of people's favorite Targaryen ever, and I think after this show, uh, assuming he's betrayed well, which I think he will be, uh, he'll be a lot of people's. It's it's just so like right, you know, we're so used to we just know Danny and Aemon and Viserys. And obviously, Danny's most people's favorite because she's the only Targaryen. It can't be Viserys, but Damon will be a lot of people's favorite all time Targaryen. Uh, Ko, uh, what's up, man? Thoughts on Aemon? I think Aemon looks good uh, as an older Aemon. I think he looks good from what I've seen. We just got the one screenshot. Obviously, we saw the younger Aemon approaching, looking up. That's got to be Vagar, and I think that's the end of the trailer. I, I think it looks good, though. I think it looks good. And uh, I don't know the actor uh, well, obviously, but I, you know, the part looks right. He looks right to me. <clears throat> um, extra, extra. What's up, man? Uh, my only thing is I don't know with all these spinoffs, like how much attention HBO is willing to put into this one show, because we apparently got like over a half a dozen spinoffs coming. Well, I mean, look, here's the thing, extra. They do have five or six in development, but they will only focus on one at a time. So I don't think it's, and they have all the money in the world for that stuff. So 
Um, this will have the full attention. We have the best showrunners we could possibly have. There's no D&D. We have George R. R. Martin involved. He's not going to be writing scripts and stuff, but he is involved with everything. Um, so you got other teams, like completely other teams on these other things being in development. So it's not going to take away from anything. Like uh, any show they're doing, even if they're doing it at the same time, would not take away from each other because they'd have completely different crews. Um, you might have some crossover, maybe with some writers or something like that. But other than that, no. So I don't think um, uh, they will not. Uh, they are not uh, holding back on the money to make this right, and they definitely want the bad taste out of their mouth from season eight. <clears throat> so I have uh, I have faith they will do it right. Uh, multi. <laughs> Mullet Garen's flying to town, play some 38 special covers, then fly back out, says chicken in jail. That's a good idea. It'd be a good scene. Um, BK can, uh, can Sana, can Sana? Game of Thrones. I am fine. How are you? Good. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Uh, House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones. It is, uh, going to be the same story or the same universe. Hmm. Yeah, there's Ass of Cheese. Uh, yeah, o only development um, to our anime. That's true. That's true. Two are going to be uh, um, animated. Um, HBO wants to milk the got cash cow to the max like Disney has done with Star Wars uh, and RC and spin all movies. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, if it's going to make money, um, they'll make it. And, but there's demand for it. People want this type of thing again. Game of Thrones was such a cultural phenomenon. It was so huge that they need a little piece of that again. Uh, if they can get it, they're going to get it. Um, Shelly, I'm glad you said that. So what I was going to say earlier before we get out of here, because I believe, um, I don't know if it was Alex, I'm sorry, I, I, who, missed, who asked earlier. So without going into all the detail in case this happens, there is a old theory uh, I talked about it some in old videos during Game of Thrones. I talked about it on some live streams. Obviously, this has been years ago. But uh, there is a theory that the Maesters have something to do with the downfall of dragons. Um, Marwyn the Mage uh, talks about this in the main story. Now, Marwyn was not featured in Game of Thrones, so it wasn't really mentioned. But we have to remember that Hightower is an old town and House Hightower is a sitting, they're not in control of the Maesters, but in some way they kind of are because the Citadel's there. So there's some evidence um, that the Maesters do not want dragons in this world and led and at least helped or pushed in the direction of them dying out. Now, I don't believe it completely because obviously this civil war is caused by Targaryens, but. Did the high towers slash maesters sow the seeds? Maybe we'll get some of that in the show. If it's going to be anything to it, we have to see it in the show. So that's what I was going to say earlier. There is an old theory. I'll talk about it maybe in some videos as the show goes on to see if there's any hints of it. Um, but there is definitely a, an old fan theory. It's been going around for years that the Maesters had something to do with um, the downfall of dragons and House Targaryen, uh, obviously, in the same uh, breath. Um, because Marwyn does mention it to... Uh, Marwyn mentioned it in the Citadel, saying, you know, why do you think they killed all the dragons? But Marwyn's also kind of a on his own type of thing. He's studying magic and all that stuff, and he's a different type of Maester, so... That's the great thing about these stories. Everybody has their own little opinions, and we don't know the actual truth. Uh, what's up, Scott of Casterly Rock? How are you? Scott, we've been here a while. We're about to get out of here in just a few minutes, but we went over the extended trailer, so had had some fun. I uh, didn't even know it had just came out. I heard about it yesterday. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Ellen, I haven't read the book. What time period is this now? How many years forgot? Uh, you're going to see about 170 years um, before Game of Thrones when the dance happens. So roughly 200 at the very beginning, 101 AC. Then we'll move down to 120. When the dance actually starts, which I'm imagining will be sometime mid-season two, it'll be 129 AC. So about 170 years before Game of Thrones. 
So um, not too far off in the distance where it's like just a completely different. Obviously, we're going to have King's Landing and all the major locations, but not too close where there's people, there's any crossover. So uh, let's see. Uh, Anna Sophie, hi, regards from Mako. Welcome, welcome, Anna Sophie. Glad you are here. Hello from North Carolina to Mako. Um, uh, Meg Paul, is it the theory? Mm hmm. Summer Hall series. Oh, someone. Uh, Summer Hall. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that was a, if that'd be a series. Um, that comes up on the time of Rhaegar at the end of that. So I don't know what they would do like a series, um, but there needs to be some Summer Hall answers in some way. So I don't know if that'll be on TV or not. Um, Nobi, Dupree of the Night King was already kicking. Yeah, so there, Nobi, I was going to say uh, earlier, actually, I'm glad you said that. Thank you. Um, I think they'll definitely have some kind of hint towards the Night King and the White Walkers because there's actually another theory that Aegon the Conqueror conquered Westeros and I, uh, brought them together, unified, and I'm using air quotes because he conquered them. But he did give him a choice. He did it in a cool way. Um, there's a theory that he had heard uh, some theories. Uh, there was some visions involved with somebody that told him that um, the world would be destroyed. And he's decided to unify the seven kingdoms in preparation for the coming great war. And that was the reason he did that. Now, I don't know... It's just theories. I don't know. There's a lot to support it, but that is another theory out there for sure. So I would say, Noby, that we would at least get some hints of the Night King. Like I said last week, uh, we won't see this probably, um, but when Queen Alisane flies Silverwing up to the wall, now this is earlier, so this is during the time of Jahara, so we probably won't see this, but um, she flies uh, Silverwing to the wall, and, the, and Silverwing will not fly beyond the wall. And she doesn't know why. She wanted to go like, just flying around looking at the great north, north. <laughs> and uh, Silver Ring says, hell no. So we know why now. Obviously, they it sense the Night King or the evil or whatever it is. Or whatever you want to call it, magic of the old gods, you know, whatever. Three-Eyed Raven. Children stuff. <clears throat> so uh, I would imagine at least uh, some kind of little hints and references. And again, it'd be cool if we saw those paintings in uh, Beneath Dragonstone like Doc asked about earlier ago. Early, earlier. Speaking of that, let me check uh, Patreon one more time. Make sure anybody posted any uh, questions there other than uh, the Doc Holiday. Uh, nope. Uh, okay. Uh, Mazuma, can I confirm that R plus L equals J? Uh, Mazuma, I can't confirm it 100%. There's still people that believe... There's still people that believe that you know it's um, it's it's a Shara Dane and Brandon Stark and Danny was at the Tower of Joy. There's still people that actually believe that, and I don't know why. When clearly that was the answer that D and D they said this on camera. It's been in interviews. George R. R. Martin said it himself. That was clearly the answer they gave him to get the show in the first place. Um, obviously, that's what the answer is. It was pretty straight. People, and I, believe me, I understand. People like to dig into these texts way too much and and overthink everything, which is fun. Don't get me wrong; it's fun to to go and go in there and play around with stuff like that and the and the words. But everything does not mean everything. Uh, everything does not mean something. And uh, it was pretty straightforward who Jon Snow was. So. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny, though. I think it's uh, I think it's probably out there, Mizuma. The answer you seek. <clears throat> Pen Muse, hola, how are you? Welcome, welcome back, Pen Muse. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to. I think I'm. Uh, yes, Shelly, no problem. Thank you for asking. I'm glad you said that because it reminded me of what I said earlier. 
uh ko or is, is I, i'm just saying ko but i see uh, is it cots i don't know i guess it's uh, k-o-t-s or cots i'm sorry let me know how to say that um do you think the show will expand on Aegon the second uh yeah i mean we're gonna see um yeah we, we they they kind of have to uh Aegon has a pretty big role to play uh with a dragon he's a dragon rider um again without spoilers pretty big things happen especially near the end of the war. Um, and ultimately, um, there will be a King Aegon, because uh, he is the king. Uh, I mean, the the not the not unrightful king, but he is the king. So yeah, they will have to expand on Aegon. Um, again, it won't be a lot of Aegon in season one other than if they go the route of like the end of... Because I think the way they go is... Um, I would guess episode nine, Viserys um, dies. And that's when they withhold the information from uh, Rhaenyra, who's on Dragonstone all the time, and they call the council and make, they have the coronation of Aegon then, and she talks him into it. I would imagine that's the end of season one. Just a guess. That would leave a big cliffhanger for, oh shit, here we go. Uh, yes, uh, somebody's asking about live streaming. Is that what we're asking? Uh, ask the cheese, could the show go all the way to Robert's Rebellion? Uh, I mean, they could, uh, Alex. They're not planning on doing that, and I don't think they, they will. But um, technically, they could keep going and go through Aegon the Third and Aegon the Fourth, all the way to uh, the, the Sixth uh, or Seventh. I mean, I'm sorry, Fifth. John would be the Seventh. Um, they could technically do that, but I don't think they will. It's about the Targaryen, so I don't think they'll go past the point of Targaryen rule, um, which would technically be Robert's Rebellion, but they do a show without any dragons and stuff in that time period. I doubt it, and I think we pretty much know all we know to need to know about Robert's Rebellion. I would like to see it personally, but uh, I don't think that. I think they'll go backwards some. They can go forward for quite a bit, uh, before it gets kind of uh, you know kind of kind of the familiar territory, but they can go backwards to um, Aegon's conquest and see the first. So I think they that's something they said they could end up doing. Uh, yes, every Sunday live stream after the show. If somebody's asking, I'm sorry, I don't know who is asking that. Uh, uh, Fat boy, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe the Maesters, That's a that's a good point. Um, I've, I've said that before, in uh, an old live stream or a video talking about some of these theories is, you know, maybe the Maesters suggested, maybe the Grand Maester or you know whatever, uh, suggested that they, hey, maybe you should build this dragon pit, you know. But did they know that would work? You know what I mean? Build this dragon pit. Keep your dragons there to keep everybody safe. And of course, we know that's what caused them to start. Um, uh, not they stop growing, you know, and all that good stuff, and they start hatching smaller and whatever. But would they know that worked? You know what I mean? How would they know that? So unless they somehow found some, because uh, nobody had ever done that to my knowledge in in uh, Valyrian history, as far as like caging up drag <coughs> dragons. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, Randy says, like and sub to stay with us soon. Yes, please do. Please do. We see the, the sub goal up here. We're at 76,962. Um, 76.96%, by the way, of 100K. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. We'll, maybe we can get back to 77K again. I'll feel better about things, about the channel itself, because I know I keep bringing this up, but it was Bridge, for, Bridge for Kev was talking about it today, too. Um, we get back to 80 because we hit 83,000 and almost, almost 84,000 during 2019 the end, before Game of Thrones ended. Once I get back to 80K and I see it kind of moving, I'll feel better about like it's actually moving forward. Like, I don't trust this stuff. I think it's all temporary until I see it continue beyond this show because I'm afraid that it's going to be really cool and everything during this show and the channel's growing again and it's going in the right direction. And then the show ends. And then we have a year before the <clears throat> the next season. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. And uh, it just kind of dies again. And then I'm just going to be uh, be done with it. So, um, 
this is our last uh, big chance to a uh, big hurrah to get this thing at least moved in the right direction. So thank you guys who have subscribed. Um, if you're in the chat, um, yeah, maybe we'll do a big. Maybe we have to do it like a, a what is an I don't know, official subathon sometime. Just uh, just just do that. All right, um, let's grab a couple more and then we'll get out of here. It's almost twelve thirty. I know everybody's got to sleep. Uh, Chris H, thank you. Threw a like on. Appreciate it, man. All the little likes and stuff, uh, they do help. Uh, subscribing helps. Uh, likes help. All that signals to YouTube that people dig it, man. So uh, I appreciate it, man. Um, let's see here. Let me get that out of the way. Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Shelly. So I guess Shelly, I guess, I guess you were asking. Yeah. So yeah, we did. We do the we we're doing the after shows as you as we did with Game of Thrones. So we'll we'll be immediately on here about ten fifteen, obviously ten thirty, depending on when it ends. Usually it's around ten fifteen. We try to start. Uh, that's why I started doing this at ten o'clock, ten fifteen anyway, to get people back in the 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 schedule. Uh, you know, so we're gonna we'll have this from nine to ten and jump right on here. Uh, Mr. Maximus, hey man, I actually, I'm talking to somebody about this. I mean, it's very, very early. We'll, you know, I don't have a lot of experience in screenwriting and all that stuff, obviously, but you're saying, Hey, Chris, love to see one day be talking about season one of the Crimson God show on HBO. Let's make it happen. Uh, Mr. Maximus, this is not an unthought about thing. Um, I'm talking to some, uh, people now, um, uh, thank you to Sheila. I don't know if Sheila's in here. Uh, that know some people who may know some people and uh, you know it's kind of all who you know and I don't know any people but I do have um, I do have uh, I'm talking to somebody now about a potential idea with that um, there may be some options not only for that but uh, I mean obviously that's not going to be easy uh, there may be an option to turn this into a graphic novel series um that would be crazy expensive, though. I cannot afford to do that right now. Um, I'd have to do like a fundraise. I don't know. <clears throat> There's that potential, but yeah, talking to somebody about this, um, and we'll see what happens. As I get any news that this may be moving forward, I will certainly let you know. But uh, I would love to see it. There's Maddie Benz. Hello, Maddie. Sup, crew? Been watching under my other channel. Swapped over so I can say comment. So I can say <laughs> say comment, Maddie Benz. What were you watching under Maddie? Um, you will kill us as soon as it starts. I hope so, Maddie. I hope so, man. I hope so. Diane Newman. Hello, Diane. Hey, Chris. I'd like to see Duncan A. the Johnson Show in the future. The Ari Adventure loved your book. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And again, thank you to you guys who have read the book and then have uh, dropped a review on Amazon or Barnes and Noble or wherever you have, um, I really appreciate it. that. Helps a lot. We're almost up to a hundred reviews on Amazon, which is really cool. We were stuck at like eighty something for a long time. I, I'm I'm hoping that once we get to triple digits here, yeah, it's got ninety three right now. Um, hoping once it gets to, let's see, the hardcover is back. See, I told y'all last week the hardcover was four dollars and thirteen cents. Now it's back to eight forty five, which is still really cheap, but it is now. In number 36 in medieval. So we had it up to number two. I saw number two. It could have possibly made it to number one, but I never got an email or anything. So um, that was really cool. It was a number two. We were so close, man. So I really appreciate you guys who picked up the book and uh, left reviews and all that. So maybe we can still get there. It gets more reviews, and we get a little surge where we – can sell so many in a day or whatever, we can definitely get to number one. Then I can say it's the number one bestseller on that in that category. <clears throat> yeah, I want to see Aegon. I want to see Visenya, uh, Meg Paul. I'm just saying, Visenya and Rainies. I just want to, just want to, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I want to see Aegon too, but I'd rather see Visenya and Rainies anyway, because then you're going to see Balerion in action. You're going to see Maraxes in action. And then is you know um, you have the Dornish plot line and all that stuff, but uh, it would be cool. Um, all right, G Roses or G Rose twenty two here to join the gang. Welcome G Rose. Welcome, welcome. 
appreciate you stopping by. Um, and yes, yes, if you're in the chat uh, or watching this later and you have not subscribed, please do me a favor and do that. We really appreciate it. We're uh, getting close to 77K once again for the like the third or fourth time as we kind of go up and down. We're trying to get this to go up and stay that direction. That's all we're trying to do. Um, let's see. Uh, no, no, I'm assuming. Remember, it dropped. It was 423, then it dropped to 413 later that same night. Yeah, so... I was trying to say, hey, grab it then. Grab it. it's a, it's it's that's cheaper than I can buy the damn thing for direct. Uh, I have to pay like six fifty or seven fifty for my own damn hardcover. Anyway, uh, dark dark, what's up, man? Uh, I think trailer dragons are smaller than Drogon. Yeah, except for Vagar, they all are smaller than Drogon. Yeah, um, Vagar will be bigger. We're probably bigger than Drogon, but uh, we will see Vagar, but he will be by far the biggest. <clears throat> I got you, Maddie. I got you. I got you. Uh, embargo Brain. Good luck, Chris. That'll be super exciting. Yeah, no, uh, it is. It's really cool. Um, so somebody is now aware of it, um, and he's looking. He has a person that I can potentially work with uh, to get this converted um, to a screenplay um, and maybe in front of some eyes. Uh, and that's all I know. Um, I'll certainly let you guys know as soon as I hear anything that could be moving forward. But this is not going to be easy. Um, and the problem is, is I'm almost out of money to for any of this shit. Any of this YouTube stuff, writing stuff, my savings are damn near gone. <laughs> um. So I'm really taking a big chance here by not just quitting all this now and going and just doing normal things. But uh, I've been I'm trying to hold on, I'm trying to, to 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 bring it back, and um, it's hard. It's hard to do. Something's changed uh, for everybody, not just me. But uh, it's not it's not easy out here with this kind of shit, man. <clears throat> yes, yes, Meg Paul, some dark sister. Uh, exactly. Okay, okay, Chris. No, I mean I'm just you know, hey, look, I'm just. I'm just being honest. I like, I like Dark Sister. You know what I'm saying? I do. <laughs> I, do. Uh, I mean, you look. It's just artwork, right? I mean, I just. I, but she's described well. <laughs> oh shit. Um, Betray King, Maylees, Caraxes, Vermithor, Silverwing, maybe in Dreamfire. Shouldn't they be bigger? Uh, yeah, but I mean, I think we'll see. I mean, you could tell, like. Um, you will also see them grow some too. I think I don't know which scenes were the young. Um, you know, for example, you take um, uh, Renera. You know, when she's seven, uh, I believe is when she becomes a dragon rider. So then, as she gets older, we're going to see the dragons change. I'm assuming, uh, and I mean, twenty something years between the ages of the the actors. <laughs> so we should see her dragon get bigger. And all that stuff as well. And it's hard to tell from some of these shots. I mean, honestly, there's some angles that are weird. Um, like, uh, if that's Vagar's foot, which I believe it is, that Eamon's looking up at, it looks too big. Um, but then it could have been the shot and the way it's angled and all that stuff. So, I mean, yeah, they'll, they'll probably be bigger than you think. But there are some smaller, more agile dragons, too. They were not all, like, you know, giant. In comparison, like, like obviously, Drogon or uh, Blyrion. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah. There you go, Mazuma. Don't forget to thumbs up other reviews if you leave a review and or visit the reviews of the book on Amazon. Yes, do that for sure. I'm sure all that helps. Apparently. Uh, Philip Jensen, what's up? How you doing, Crimson Gods, Amazon Prime series? Lol. Uh, hey, I mean, hey, it. All these shows you see, um, on Netflix, Amazon, they all started with a damn book. A writer of some sort. Some were straight to screenplays, sure. Uh, Mazuma's Dark Sister or Step <laughs> I don't know. Ain't that the same thing? <laughs> I mean, just saying. Uh, no, hey, no problem, Shelly. That's what we do here. I try to answer everybody's questions uh, if I can. Uh, I did great with The Witcher. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I enjoyed The Witcher. I enjoyed The Witcher. We did get a little, a little traction for The Witcher for a minute. 
But I just don't like the way they do it. They drop it all at once, and you can't really split it up into weeks. Diane Newman, I must have got the deal. You did, Diane. Uh, I think it was 413, so I'm going to pass the paper back to a friend. I guess you should have your people talk to HBO. Uh, yeah, I don't. Problem is, uh, is I don't have people, Diane. It's just me. This is all. It's just me. I need, look, I need an editor. I need a social media manager. <laughs> I need somebody who uh, who hangs out on Reddit that has a lot of flair and time on Reddit so they can share videos. I can't go like share my own videos there. I need a whole team, you know, but, um, I can't pay anybody to have a team. So that's just the way it is. Um, betray King going to be like avatar. Uh, Eamon needs to ride a small dragon first. Yeah. He says, fuck it. And drop him to the back of Vagar. Yeah. He says, fuck it, man. He's just like, he's ballsy. You got to give him that, man. Uh, Maddie, we'll have to upgrade the Patreon. Can't lose our favorite channel, especially with everything coming out. I'm excited about the snow show, too. Yeah, I appreciate it, Maddie. Um, you know, don't feel obligated to do stuff. I know it's hard for everybody, but it, it is a real uh, concern. Um, I was saying earlier, Maddie, if you heard me under your old account there, um, I was. I was going to email Kev. I told him to email, but I don't know if he saw the message. But, um, you know, he's going through the same thing. Everybody is to some degree. I know Teflon's done pretty damn good. I'm proud of Teflon, man. Uh, Teflon's an OG, but he picked up Better Call Saul, and he's seen some success with that. So hopefully he's doing a lot better. He's growing pretty good, I think, now. Um, Quinn, he's doing outstanding. He's talented in every way with his Dune stuff, and he's an author now, too. Um, I got his book. As a matter of fact, um, I meant to grab that. Hold on one second. Um, I know I always end these streams on YouTube rants, and I don't mean to, but I, I do. I'm pretty passionate about this kind of stuff because, like, this is Quinn's book, for example, Tadia. Um, this is his graphic novel. It's outstanding. Um, I got my signed version because I pre-ordered it. I'm trying to support. I mean, I won't show any spoilers here. Y'all should check it out if you like uh, uh, you know, fantasy. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not even showing you the damn book. But this is Quinn's graphic novel. You remember Quinn used to be Ideas of Ice and Fire, and this is uh, his first book as well. Um, he did a pre-order campaign. I got the hardcover. Um, it's really cool to see some of my, you know, YouTube friends or whatever, you know, going beyond YouTube. It's not easy to do. None of this shit's easy to do. And and Kevin, for example, just using him just because I saw him today, he's talked about it. Uh, he put a post up a couple weeks ago. Oh, no, I'm sorry, a couple of days ago, like 13 days. Um, I guess that's a couple of weeks. Um, that he's, he's about done. He's got to go uh, get a job and 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 because he's putting out videos and he's making $500 a month and his bills are – and that's where I am. You know, I'm my bills are like $2,000 a month. Um, you know, not bad. I'm not complaining, but I used to easily at least cover that, and now it's not even – it's gas money. So and it's not just me. Um, obviously, he's going through that uh, through that as well. Um, hopefully, uh, other people are doing better. Uh, I don't know, but there's something not coming back uh, like we saw with God. So hopefully that'll change. So it's really important. It's, I, I'm just all about supporting independent creators because this is not some big company that produced this or the Crimson Gods. My book. I don't even have a copy of my book anywhere. You know, this book that Quinn put out is his. Came, uh, it started with an idea on a piece of paper, and he made it happen. Uh, he raised some money from his uh, supporters and uh, raised a lot of money, which is really cool, and put this thing out to the world, and he's doing more, and it's really cool to see. So I'm all about supporting independent. We have um, Eric July, if you guys follow him, Young Ripper on YouTube. Uh, he started the Ripperverse. He just raised $3 million in the first week of his campaign for his first uh, comic uh, series, his first book, um, about the size of Toddy, actually, it looks like, uh, from what I've seen. I, uh, so I'm really uh, pretty passionate about independent creators um, because it's it's not easy. You don't have the finances behind you like some giant co corporation. Um, so YouTube and, and streaming on Twitch or podcasting or writing books or graphic novels like this, this is not easy. Um, we're... People are out here, you may see a channel that's got uh, 200, 300,000 subscribers, um, 
and think they make money. I can promise you they don't. Uh, it's it's not. You you may it, it like at periods like for example during these ten weeks maybe I'll make a thousand dollars a month, but I can't live off that. Um, so you know when the channel's hopping and it's hot and you got House of the Dragon going, we'll do okay. But I'm not gonna be able to pay bills, and so this is what Kevin's going through, and he's pretty close to being done. That's what I've been going through, and and our and we've all saved money and tried to make this thing work. But it, we're so we're trying to really turn it around and you don't want to be out here begging. I hate that shit. Um, and I didn't even start a Patreon for years uh, for, it took a while because I felt bad about it. And that's the way Kev is too, but, and I understand it, but it, you, you gotta be realistic about it. So uh, Chris H, I love the boys. I, fi- I love the boys. I finished all the boys. Um, I'm waiting on next season. It's outstanding by the way. Definitely watch the boys. <laughs> Bolting vulture. How long before the first real fracture? Um, if you're between the two facts, and I guess the first season will be mostly peaceful. Yeah, it won't be any fighting between any factions. Season one, you'll see the war for the stepstones, but you'll see the beginnings of the fractures. Um, it depends if we see. We'd already seen the first fracture in the trailer. The first fracture comes from. The uh, I don't want to spoil things for people who who, who want to. I want everybody to be surprised. Um, the scene where Allison runs to Renero with the blade is the first fracture based off what just happened outside with some kids involved, with. Amond involved and with a dragon involved, and that will be the first fracture. So we will see that. We just saw in the teaser. When all that gets put together, that'll make sense. I hope that uh, is helpful. So that's really, I mean, there's start, you know, look, like I said, there's small things that start to happen way before that, right? I mean, you know, little things that start just set off in motion. Jaharis is the one who actually starts the idea in motion with the whole thing about. Um, you know, passing up rainies and all that stuff. So that's what really starts it. But the fractures start even more, obviously, during this time period. And that will be the first major breaking point, is what I would say. Really, and before that, even a little bit more with Rhaenyra's children with Lanor, which is not with Lanor, which is the problem. Because then some the other kids pick on those kids, and then then you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. Um, Maddie Ben and Jet sucks to hear if we uh, it was 78k of us here can all try and support our favorite channel. Be, uh, I'll upgrade mine in any case. Thanks for all you do. Uh, thank you, Maddie. I appreciate it. Don't feel obligated. I don't mean that as like a um, woe me. You know, I chose this. I knew it was risky. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just telling you the reality. I'm I've always been transparent on here. I'm 100. percent I'm not going to pretend anything's about anything either way. Yeah, hero gasm, Azuma. Yes, please watch the boys. By the way, if you hadn't watched the boys, you don't have to like superheroes movies to like the boys. Just watch the boys. <clears throat> Maddie, wouldn't it be great if uh, I mean, look, 78. Let's be honest, 78 thousand people are not here anymore. But uh, I appreciate every one of you. Uh, I've always said if if everybody could, you know, I think Patreon, the lowest tier is $3 because they did delete the $1 tier. There was a $1 tier, but $3 is the minimum. I mean, if you join the channel, it's, I think, four three ninety nine. I don't even know. Um, I think it's th- I think you can choose. Um, and I'll add some more stuff to that, too. So you can join the channel by clicking that little join button, and it's like a monthly little three ninety nine, four ninety nine, whatever you choose. Uh, that helps, but Patreon is the biggest thing. Um, and you know, if a couple hundred people would join for three bucks a month would be huge for any, not just me. I'm just, I'm saying anybody that you support that would have, has a Patreon or whatever, or you can join their channel. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if 70,000 people give a dollar, wouldn't that be great? No, we wouldn't have any problems. So, um, uh, Kenneth, morning from Perth. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, Kenneth, I about lost you there. Uh, from Perth, Scotland. Welcome, welcome, Kenneth. Awesome, man. Kenneth McKenna. From the motherland there, Kenneth, by the way. I'm mostly Scottish. 
Um, all right. Uh, Shelly, however you did, however you did great with Witcher. Unfortunately for me, I didn't see the show. B seven T. Uh, B seven T. I would uh, I step on the plate for that marketing person. I'll step up to the plate for that marketing person. What other people you need to help? Help for whatever. Oh, you need help for whatever. Yeah, I need lots of help. Hey, look, if if you know people in, um, you know, editors uh, and uh, or social media people, um, screenplay people, people in the industry, whatever it may be, um, book people, all that stuff. Like I said, like I said, the simple thing about what you're, like Maddie, you're talking about with the channel. If I had a few people uh, knew some people uh, that were on Reddit a lot that are in you know embedded in all these Reddit communities like uh, for, I mean I, I've I've looked around on Reddit over the years but I've really never posted much and I do have an account and I just I can't go post my own stuff it's kind of against their rules and I understand that to a degree um, but I can't go like share my videos on Reddit maybe there's a lot of people on Reddit who would like this channel maybe there are a lot who would hate it but if people could post those on Reddit and stuff I mean it would make a huge difference but I can't go do that i mean it's and i'm not asking anybody to but i'm just saying if i had those people out there who are like oh oh i like this dude i like this channel um and then shared a video in some big subreddit would be uh really helpful but i you know it's just one of those things it's kind of who you know and i don't i don't really know people in that those positions so if you're out there let me know all righty um can't wait to see bib for <laughs> For Chuno on the throne, love a good crossover moment, Betray King. That's true. Oh, Lord. Uh, Shelly, like I said, I would love to promote your channel. I've watched you for seven years. You should be bigger in your books. Uh, should have pulled more people that believed in you. Hugs, Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Shelly. Well, however you want to promote it, you're certainly welcome to promote it. I uh, really appreciate anything. Uh, thank you, Maddie. Maddie stepping up. Maddie Benz, thank you for being a channel member. And um, we'll try to get some of those things upgraded too, uh, so there is some some more value there. But you know, besides just the uh, a couple of emotes and the uh, little now you got the little logo besides your wrench, so that's cool. But thank you, Maddie, so much. I appreciate that. Uh, David, thank you for subscribing earlier. I think I missed that. I apologize, David, if you're in here. Um, thank you, thank you. I never saw that uh, Betray King. I don't have Apple TV, actually. I wanted to see that. It looks pretty damn good, but I, that's the one thing I didn't buy. I have too many shows, or not shows, but uh, services that I don't use, and I need to cancel all of them, actually, because I really don't watch TV that much, honestly. But I do watch The Boys, and I do watch Westworld. So, Yvette, have a good one. Good night, Yvette. Have a good one. Thank you for uh, being a channel member as well. Uh, you just joined uh, last week or the week before, so thank you. Have a good one. Um, someone there. I actually have one. Uh, someone. I have. I actually started one, but I don't. I don't use it. I haven't used it. Um. If somebody wants to, if somebody knows Reddit and wants to join and run that thing, an admin a Reddit uh subreddit that would be cool. Uh, I can give you the link. Actually, I started it and just really I posted like a couple of things, but. I, I I'm not I don't ha I can't do all this stuff where I'm modding everything I have but we have a Discord be, um, join our Discord for sure too um, if somebody wants to grab Discord like a uh, actual thing that won't uh, run out in a couple minutes you can do that too maybe Mizuma can grab that for me uh, but let me yeah here's uh, here's the Reddit channel uh, here's Reddit right here so if somebody wants to, if somebody's out there who seriously knows Reddit well. Um, there's the Reddit uh, uh, channel, but again, there's just a couple posts, um, and it's just me. I don't, I can't mod all this stuff. I can't um, run disc like if Discord got full again, like it used to really be active. You can join Discord also through Patreon. That's another thing too; it gives you access automatically. But I can't mod all that. So if anybody's out there that knows Reddit, will send me an email. Miz is a traveling business person making him spread the word of smoke. I'm 92% sure he's an assassin of some kind, but he means well. Yeah, no, yeah, he is. He is for sure. Hey, but this the assassin uh I have uh can cook. Just saying. This Miz dude. Pretty uh 
pretty good cook. Uh, Musi, thank you for becoming a channel member. Thank you, thank you, Musi. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so, okay, someone, so you're, okay, got you. You're black on Discord, I remember. So, yeah, um, Mizuma posted the Discord link there, too. That's open for all discussions, 24 hours. We're on there a lot playing games at night and stuff, but I got all these different channels, and um, uh, again, if uh, I know Mizuma has his own channel because he's streaming on Twitch now and stuff, but uh, yeah, I got it pretty much organized, but I ne it needs to be more organized and whatever and have some more discussions and areas, whatever it needs. Uh, I would, If somebody wants to join in and help mod that, that would be outstanding. I, I really need um, – I can't do all this and do videos full time. It's just – it's impossible. It. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just me. What's up, Michael? How are you? Michael Mertig. Mertig. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome in, Michael. Welcome to the fam. Um. Yes, thank you, Musi. Thank you for joining. Okay, I'm back to. I figure out how to get back on Patreon. I appreciate it, Musi. Uh, that's like a, a you know I don't know uh, like a, the five dollar tier. Um, obviously Patreon has different rewards and stuff and and all that stuff. And um, but yeah, I mean whatever you how either way, I am not going to complain. I appreciate it, every one of you. Um. But yeah, join our Discord right there. Mizuma just posted that link, um, and it's it's uh, you know a free place to to discuss any of these shows. I post videos on there. We're on there playing games and stuff. So um, again, if anybody's out there who would like to help mod those type of things, that's been around a while. That would be really cool uh, if it starts you know kind of hopping again because it used to have uh, there's like a hundred something people on the channel, the Discord channel, but nobody really talks much because you know everything kind of died. But if it starts to pick back up, and I'll definitely need mods and stuff like that. So uh, I appreciate anybody that would be willing to do that kind of stuff. There's the Reddit channel. You can join that right now for free. This is all free stuff. It's just a place to to join. Uh, but if anybody, yeah, send me an email. Uh, your emails in any video description. Chris at smokescreenvids.com. If you've been around a while and you if you're if you know about Reddit, how to mod on Reddit and all that stuff, uh, or Whatever, um, just let me know. Uh, send me an email. We'll 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 figure something out. Cause if we're to spread this thing and get it going again, uh, I've got to have help. Uh, I, I can't do it alone anymore. It will drive me absolutely insane. And uh, I got to remain mentally healthy <laughs> for sure. All right, let me check Patreon one more time. We'll get out of here. I know you guys have to go. It's almost one o'clock, uh, but I'm fine. I, I've had fun. I enjoy these a lot. So Patreon is good. Um, I see a, a couple people have joined the Reddit thing. I see the the members going up. So we got five members on the Reddit on the subreddit. Hey, five members, uh, very cool. But yeah, so if somebody could jump on Reddit and be able to mod that, then you can post the video links and and any discussions and uh, and all that stuff and be really cool. Get it set up properly. I did I did a little bit of it because I just don't know. I'm just not a Reddit expert. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Musi. I appreciate it. Yeah, and again, Musi, Discord is not, it's just a place for you guys to hang out 24 hours a day and discuss whatever you want, anywhere, you, anytime. So it's not more, you know, it's just more of a, you know, um, again, like if I post a YouTube video, it does auto post on there when a video is out. So like if YouTube you notifications know, ain't working and you have them on Discord, you'll see it there. So it's just to help with that. But it's really for you guys who want to hang out and talk about whatever. So. All right, uh, see everybody. Oh, Vincent, what's up, Vincent? Uh, say hello, fellow Tar Heel. What's up, man? We got a fellow Tar Heel up in here. Uh, Callie, have a good one. Um, someone, yeah, absolutely. I've been through hell and back, but I'm I'm still here. But it ain't easy. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Um, we'll get out of here again. Thank you to all my uh, people on Patreon. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, Thank you, Maddie, for joining the channel. Musi, again, I really appreciate it. All you guys who subscribed earlier, uh, David, Ryan, Luco, Miss Margaret, Master Sith for the Super Chat, um, Xpan for the uh, subscription, Jonathan Book, um, Stuart for the subscription, uh, Watch of Wall Street for the Super Chat, Chicken to Jail for the Super Chat, and I believe that's it. I apologize if I miss anybody. That's what's in my list, so... Um, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Uh, hope you had a good time. I did. I really enjoyed it. Uh, again, let me know, send me an email if you, uh, want to get involved somehow with like, uh, 
whether it's Reddit or, or whatever, um, or if you're members of other subreddits and stuff like that, really appreciate it, man. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we will try to do a video this week, probably a watch this first type of thing and do some real quick points on things. Uh, yes, Mizzou, we'll go balls deep in the House of the Dragon. There's a lot of lore here. And then, uh, of course, we got all my book stuff and all that stuff as well. Um, thank you, someone. Appreciate it. We are. We're, we're coming. We're, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it come back a little bit. It's giving me some hope. So I appreciate all you guys. Uh, but thank you. Um, again, send me an email if you uh, are interested in any of that type of stuff. I appreciate any support. Really do. Uh, whether it's just hanging out here, giving the view, um, Super Chats, Patreon. Uh, follow me on Twitter, by the way. We're trying to make that active as well. Because uh, you got to do all this stuff outside YouTube to make YouTube work. So anyway. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you, Mods, for all the stuff uh, as well, uh, keeping shit out of here, posting things for me, all that stuff as well. Appreciate you guys. And uh, we will see you next week, and I will try to do at least one video. We'll see what happens this week. Um, and then uh, we'll talk about, at some point, Lord of the Rings, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens with that as well. So thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good week, everybody. Uh, have a good night. Be safe. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.